niggas have crackatosis and niggas taught y'all that we like women who look non-black. Now I have nothing. Let me let me say this disclaimer. As a black man, I'm speaking to black women. If you a white woman, a Spanish woman, and you in here, I'm not speaking derogatory. I'm not speaking in a derogatory manner towards the beauty of your race. I'm speaking on my race in particular in this instance. A lot of black men have taught black women that they like them better when they look non-black. So now what happens when a black man such as myself says, hey, I like you when you look more black. Can you take that shit off your head? Why the fuck do you got to fight, kick, and scratch me? Why you got to fight, kick, and scratch me? Why the fuck is it an issue that I'm asking you, okay, to look how the fuck I, I need you to look, okay? Because here's my thing. If you want to look like Britney, I might as well go run off with Britney. If you want to look like Maria, I might as well go run off with Maria. See? Now, now I'm, I'm going to bring some of y'all on. Listen, jump in the request. I'm not bringing no niggas on. I'm only bringing on women. And specifically, I want women that wear that wear weaves because and wigs or whatever because I want to honestly hear your, your stance on it. Because here's my thing, okay? If I run off with Maria or I run off with, with Megan, you're going to have a problem with me, okay? But I don't got to... White men don't have to ask white women how long is they real here. What do you look like under that wig? Spanish niggas don't got to ask Spanish women, hey, Maria, how long is your real here? What do you look like under that wig? So why, so, 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 so black women, why do y'all think it's not a problem that we got to ask you that? Why do you think that it's not a problem that when I see you, I got to ask you, how do you really look? Because I'm not really seeing you. Okay. Now, the reason I'm asking y'all this question, because I've been seeing and seeing this shit a lot. And then when you ask a woman, okay, sweetheart, uh, how long is your real? Basically, what is I'm getting for this money I'm spending? Yeah, you know I mean, do this shit really work? When I ask you, what you, what you look like? Uh, hey, Hunter, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bring her, I'm a, I'm a pull you on. If she coming through your, uh, your IG, let me know. So if you ask a woman right now, what do you really look like under that wig? The first thing they want, not the first, but one of the first things they want to say is. Accept me as I am. Whoop de wop whoop de whoop whoop de whoop. But my thing is, I don't know how you is. I'm trying to I'm trying to see how you is or what you look like. So I wanna um have this I wanna have this discussion. Okay, I wanna have this genuine, honest discussion, okay, what 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 black women in regards to what is the issue um with men asking you to see what's underneath the hairstyle that you have chose to wear. That's the nicest way I can say it. So, um, you know, we finna jump right in this. Let's go. Let's go. Who wanna pull up? Who wanna come up? Okay, I'm gonna pull up A Hunter. Hunter. I'm gonna pull up A Hunter. We're gonna make it hot today. We're gonna make it hot today. Hi. How you doing, sweetheart? Hi. How you doing, beautiful? How are you doing? I'm okay. I'm okay. So, I see you tuned into the topic. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, Brother A. Hunter, you know, has informed me through the comments that you want to go live. So, uh, you know, having a mature discussion, right, due to things that I've been observing and seeing, you know, from Buffalo to L.A. and, uh, you know, dealing with different types of people who, who dress or act certain type of ways for whatever reason it may be. I pose the question to a black woman. What is the issue when a man asks you to not wear or to discontinue wearing, you know, either a weave or a wig or, you know, whatever we want to call it. But now I'm going to just say a weave. You know, what is the issue that, what is the revolt that black women, you know, feel, you know, they're, 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 they're defending in regards to when a man poses this question? So... What is the reason behind the question? Like, yes, why? I, I hear you. Like, why are you, are you asking in the genuine sense? Like, oh, like, let me see what's underneath your hair. Like, let, wear your hair out. It's beautiful. Like, what is the question? Why? Why is that the question? 
Okay. Like, I'm sure, like, if you're in a relationship, you will eventually see her hair, right? Now, so now, now let do me, you let want me... her to not wear the wigs outside? Like, now, I understand you have a man, and I, I want to be as respectful as possible to you and your king. But hypothetically speaking here, I'm going to put myself in a position as if I didn't know you and I was asking you for your number to tell you why I would want to know. Mm -hmm. I don't want to eventually find out what you look like. I want to know now. That's like if a dude, that's like if I had a mask on and you said, Pharaoh, uh, what do you look like behind that mask? And I said, well, let's just start dating because eventually you'll see my face. Hell no, you're not going for that. So my thing is for two reasons. One reason is I want to see what you look like in natural form because what if I'm really not attracted to you? Then so are you I'm, not I'm, attracted I'm, to the hair? Like you wouldn't no, no, be no, no, attracted no, 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 no. to the People hair? look listen, some people like me with lots. But if I shave myself bald right now, people who are attracted to me in this form will no longer be attracted. So when I'm talking about getting into a relationship with somebody, I'm talking about being with you down the line. And a big a big initial aspect of that as far as a woman's security, is my ability to be attracted to you. If I'm not attracted to you, I can't be on you. I can't I can't do what you need me to do as a man for you to feel like this is my boo and I feel secure. So if I ask a woman, you know, initial questions in, in, in the process of us getting into a relationship, if I say, you know, sweetheart, what do you look like behind that hairdo that you have? If you tell me eventually I'll see it, okay, cool. But eventually... What if I see it and it's totally beyond what I thought? And now, now what do we do? I think the problem is insecurity. Why is it an insecurity? Women love to change their hair. Like, why is it a big deal? Like, we like to look different. All women, white women too. They wear extensions. They color their hair. They cut their hair. I shaved my hair last um, last year. I had long hair, like natural i've been natural since 2009 but i wear wigs occasionally to protect my hair to prevent it from the seasonal weather to change it up and i do wear my natural hair also i have no problem wearing my natural hair and i have no problem wearing a wig and i'm not and it's not i'm not insecure when i wear my natural hair i'm beautiful with or without i believe so i don't see why is the issue if you do meet a woman with extensions or a wig and then you're dating her and then when you get to that point when you're in a serious relationship you will see her natural hair she will wear her natural hair occasionally i don't feel like it comes from an insecurity issue and if you and if you do see her hair and she looks different why the person's not different It'll grow out if it doesn't look right. She don't have no edges. Let me ask you a question. If I uh -huh. if you if you dated me, mm -hmm. and then I just started eating cupcakes all day and I gained two hundred <laughs> pounds, uh -huh. and you was no longer attracted to me, uh huh. Then we'll do would, something about it. How would you we know? What if I told about you? It. What, if, what if I told you why do it matter? Because the person's not different. How would you feel about that? Like this is this is this is how well, serious. Well, that comes from that comes from for me. This is my belief. This is you know I'm talking personally. Right. That would not deter me from leaving that person. We will it would get through. Like if to. we have to eat right, if I have to become a vegan with that person, we have to get to the gym. I, but what if I don't I want to, to though? Really what if I don't? What if I don't want to? What, what if I just? Well, that means excuse? we wasn't meant just... to be. We wasn't meant to be then. We was not okay, meant now, to okay, be. Okay, now, so, so, mm -hmm. so, so, if me telling you that I don't have to be concerned with how you like me in my physical appearance, mm -hmm. do I now, as a man, have the same right to tell you? I, I see you would your wig off after dating you and we were not meant to be then that would be keeping it 100 like that would be the realest thing that would save time and energy and you keep it real and that person would be like well hell like somebody else out there would like it somebody else would like this 
this type of hairstyle. If you don't like it, there's more people in the world. No, listen. So. <laughs> yeah, listen. I don't. I'm not. A, I'm not attacking. Nothing. I just have to have mature. No, 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 I, no. I know. Yeah. I know you're not. I know you're not. Yeah, I just want to have mature conversations with mm -hmm. this subject because. For one, it's coming from a loving place with me. So I know I can have this conversation without nobody feeling like I'm trying to wage war on women that wear weaves. But my thing is, I want to know, right? Because everybody always saying it's insecurity. I have my own opinions, but in this point in time, I just want the feedback. I just want to know, as far as women, are women actually aware to why certain men pose that question? And, and, and are women aware to the potentiality that this may or may not play on their self-esteem. Because mm -hmm. if you if you think that you look insufficiently beautiful when your hair is not done via mm -hmm. a wig or a weed, mm -hmm. as a man, if you see me looking at a female that looks the way that you only look when you put the weave in, then this is going to by default breed insecurity. Or it's going to mm -hmm. breed, that's like me. If I'm a skinny chicken chest ass nigga and all my girl do is be on Instagram like a workout niggas, you know what I'm saying, pictures, after a while I'm gonna be like, well damn, what about me? So if you a female and you only comfortable with your hair when it's done in a certain manner, and then I'm on all little girls' pictures who hair look like that when yours is, is not done like that, mm -hmm. this gonna breed self esteem issues. And so really where I'm going as far as black women is Here's my thing. You can imitate another person's hairstyle. No other woman can emulate your hairstyle. Nobody else can go rock a fro. Nobody else can go and go do their hair like y'all. So my thing is, from my perspective, I don't know what these niggas like. I'm not even speaking on behalf of a lot of these niggas. But from, a, from my perspective of a black man who wants the mentally, psychologically blackest type of woman you can have, I want a woman that can't be copied. I don't I don't want a woman that's that's blind wig and straight hair, blind wig, because I can go get that. I can go get that. And then if I go get that, would, a, would you as a black woman be mad if I go date a white woman right now? Because because I'm attracted to women with blonde straight hair, you would be upset with me. But then it's like, well, if you think that this is beautiful and you want me to think that this is beautiful, why not go somewhere else? by somebody who think this is beautiful. So my thing is when it, when it, where's the balance? It's like if y'all don't want us to be attracted to women that's not black, why do y'all flaunt beauty features that's 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 that any other woman could have when you got beauty features that no other woman could have? A white woman cannot go get a fro. She cannot do 90% of the hairstyles that we can do. So my thing is I, I'm trying to provoke a conversation to get y'all to see that it's a different standard of beauty that y'all got to bring back and uphold. Because if mm -hmm. not, niggas is going to continue to be all over the place. If you look just like Megan or you look just like Maria, it's nothing stopping me from going to be attracted to Maria. I got to I got to I got to see when I see you as a black woman, I got to be able to say that's that. Like ain't nobody got that. That's just it's just like shoes and, and materials. Niggas go buy shoes before they come out. Because ain't nobody got them. So if you start, you know, in my opinion, if black women start flaunting their beauty in the way they supposed to, which is the way ain't nobody else got it, that's 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 exotic enough for me. I don't know about the rest of these niggas. That's, that, I'm cool with that. So, you know. Uh, but, haven't we, but haven't we come far? Like, going back to history, it's always been a stigma on black women's hair, black men's hair, going back, you know, going back to slavery times and wrapping our hair up. And so don't you think that's like a stigma and you would think that that was an insecurity? I but haven't, you know, I wouldn't say we that come far we're... from like stop perming our hair. You see more natural women now. Like I see a lot of natural women out here and it, ha it wasn't in, in Used to not been like that before, you know. But but when I be honest, but when we be honest about it though, when we want to be honest about the subject. A lot of the black women that look natural date white boys. I'm not. If you look, yes. If you look at if you look at the average 
white if go on Google and type in interracial couples. Mm -hmm. They don't be them black women don't be wearing weave and shit. They be wearing their natural look, tell me I'm no watch, I'm gonna Google it right now. I'm gonna Google it right now. I'm gonna Google the shit right now. Watch this. I'm doing this shit on live. I ain't already <laughs> having free for the I'm not making this shit up. Watch this. Watch this. I'm gonna speak it. Watch this. Interracial couples. So you see I'm not According making this shit Wikipedia. Look. International what? marriage is what? A I'm, marriage. Not I'm not making this shit up. I'm not making this shit up. I'm not making this shit up. Okay, look. You think I'm making this shit up? Look. Boom. 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 Let me go okay. to another picture. Let me go to another picture. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Boom. Okay, let me go to another picture. Let me go to another one with natural hair. Look. Boom. Boom. So my thing is white men see y'all in y'all natural form. And they be on y'all the way we supposed to be on y'all. So my thing is, the women who do have that strength, niggas be intimidated by that shit. Or niggas don't be attracted to that shit. Let's just keep it a buck. Niggas want the 40-inch motherfucking lace front with the... Y'all you know I mean? So my thing is, <laughs> y'all gotta, gotta force that. Y'all gotta bring that shit back. Y'all gotta say niggas. Wait, wait. Go ahead. What? What? Okay. Who do... Do you who do you see black men with? Spanish girls or black women that wear weave? Okay. <laughs> do they like that? That's the reason why they date those women, right? Well, I know that I'm from they, New York. I'm from New York. So do I you to, see I black have... do you see black men? You just said black men, mostly you see them date biracially women and hispanic women they have long luxurious hair you see them with mixed women you rarely see someone in the spotlight with a black woman with an afro come on now. but 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 but, but you talk but, about who, but you talk about us you talk about us dating white men that they're with um women with natural hair they like that what do you see black men with? With now women the, with straight hair. But, but who, they like that. So No, you y'all like that. That's why we like okay. that. Yes. Y'all no. like that. We that's why we like that. Because look, as a black man on the on this live right now, and I'm not your nigga at all. So I'm I'm <laughs> playing my pay. I'm playing my position. But as a black man on this live right now, telling you that mm -hmm. I like you as a black woman with your natural hair, you still telling me. Well, wapi wap, and we still you defending that. I'm not defending that shit. Uh -huh. So my so my thing is, it's about submitting. If a if a Spanish woman say my long flowy Spanish hair is the standard, and then a black woman say, oh, it is the standard, and go buy some mimicking hair, then we say that's the standard. But if a Spanish woman say, okay, my long flowy Spanish hair is the standard, and a black woman say. Well, my natural kinky hair, however I choose to wear it naturally as the standard, we gonna ride with y'all. We we are riding with y'all because y'all are riding with them. We not we never told y'all ever, 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 ever to start putting that shit in y'all hair. Y'all started even even because you brought up perm, and I'm glad you did. A slave created a perm so that he can look more like his white slave master. That's a fact. Do the research on the perm if you already didn't. Perms were created by slaves who wanted to look white. This is a fact. Nobody was nobody was 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 uh perming their motherfucking hair. They got picks and combs that they found not only in in Africa but in the Americas. We, we've been picking and combing our shit. Nobody was perming their shit. So my thing is that straight haired era, women started that to look more like non black women. So it's like y'all y'all psychologically trained us. To be attracted to that. That's just like we psychologically trained y'all to be attracted to toxic masculinity. Every female want a hood nigga that's damn near finna get life took next week because we trained y'all. We trained y'all to think that that's us in, in dominant and masculine form. And that's not, that's not cool. So we trained y'all on toxic, you know, male figures. And y'all trained us on non-black beauty standards as far as what we attracted to. So my thing is, once again, even on this live, if your man that's next to you right now, I'm, I'm not saying he is a real, I'm being hypothetical. If your man say, baby, 
leave that shit alone. Rock your shit. I like your shit. What will you say? Have I, did I say that shit? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't I say that? Yes. Now what? Now what? Now what's your answer? Cause you cause what? Cause what's your answer? I'm a rocket. It's okay. what I feel like. What I'm gonna wear. What makes me feel good? Is the weed. No. But any any hairstyle that I choose to wear makes me feel good. And if I want to wear a wig. That day, I'm going to wear a wig. If I'm going to wear my natural hair, I'm going to wear my natural I have no problem. Even if That's what even I'm saying. If, like, even, if your man, even if your man says. I am not, it's an option. There's options in life. And we make, we're individuals. Hair is, is, a, um, is an expressive bleach, way bleach, to express if bleach, ourselves. If I bleach my skin, because that's an option that I have. If I bleach my People skin. People have been wearing wigs to the day of time, for, for they what, would though, wear for what purposes? wigs. Because I, I love when women say that to, to make that excuse up. Do you know why people wore wigs? Why? For traditional <laughs> and ceremonial purposes. Nobody wore wig. Nobody wore wigs because they thought their hair was less attractive. It's all kind. We can go to any civil. You can randomly choose a civilization out of your brain right now, whether it be Egypt, Mayans, Omex, Nagas in Japan. I will show you pictures of black women doing their natural hair. I can show you artifacts. And I keep saying pics because pics is used for them Afro. They didn't find no pics in the Caucasus Mountains. They found some pics when they mm -hmm. found niggas. So my thing is, uh, when you say when when they say women was wearing wigs, it was for ceremonial purposes. It was never because they thought they hear looked better. And then even when you say women, but why do you think that we think that? Because why? you you just said right. Why do you, you th think the wigs make us look better? Like I, you think that I don't think. No, that. I look better either way. No, it's no, a different no. look. See, I'm trying. I'm so, trying. So, so, so you think that you it's look a different better. look. So you it's think this? Okay, so listen. Look. If you think you look better either way, then we have to be fair. We have to say one way you look better as a black woman, and mm -hmm. one way you look better as a non-black woman. So now, no, I wear my hair straight. See, okay, so so listen, we have to be fair. We can say, straighten our natural look, hair. If you say you look better, if you say you look better either way, that means one way you feel you look better, which is as a black woman, and the other way you feel you look better as a non-black woman. So here's my point. No, here's my the point. The other if, way would be I want straight hair. <laughs> okay, that's I'm saying as a non-black woman, you calling it straight hair. So now here, here's straight my hair. We can straighten our natural hairs. What's the difference? Straighten our natural hair. I didn't say you can't straighten it, but yeah. But you, the point is, you have to straighten it, which is fine. I'm not saying you. I'm not saying you can't straighten your natural hair, but I'm talking mm -hmm. about lace fronts, weaves, wigs, and all that type of stuff. So if a woman tell me, if a woman tell me, I like myself natural, and then I like myself with the wig, or with the weave which makes me look mm -hmm. a little non-black, then to me as a black man... You but why do you assume that we look non-black with straight hair? I mean, if you fake. got on the blonde... It's, it's the issue blonde, because it's you, fake. Okay, let me it's, ask you a question. Do I look non-black with this shit on? Because <laughs> it's straight? Why do you assume... Why do you, you assume? did not. Why, why do you, you look non-black? So, I, I you... like, so, so have you ever seen a black man come out the womb like this? Not the well. There's they are black people with blonde hair. That, it's and not, it's curly it's too. And it's curly too. It's, it's curly. Not common. It's, it's, it's not curly common, too. And it's curly. It's not unheard of. It's, it's curly too. Have you ever seen a black man? With I can't a take you serious. <laughs> so my thing is, my thing is that shit funny because it's it's funny as hell. And that and my thing is this: if you train me to like that blonde hair straight out, that that blonde hair straight hair look. You got to realize you training me to like that. So if I go get that, then what? Am I selling out? If I say I like women that wear, if I say right now as a black man, I like women that got blonde straight hair and I go get me a white woman. Mm -hmm. Will you be mad at me? Even though black women feel that it's beautiful as well because they wear the shit. That's all I'm saying. If, if it's black women out there that wear blue contacts. So if I go out there and I date me a woman, that got natural blue eyes, and she just so happened to not be black. Am I a coon 
for being attracted to the beauty standards that y'all think are beautiful too because y'all walk around with the shit. I feel like that would be really shallow. I think that's just shallow. I I just feel like if you're just going to another race based off looks solely because another race don't look how you want them to look, like why yeah, is that a reason? Why is that a reason? Why is that an issue? Because like, you, because not, not too specifically, but because black women look like the other race. If a black woman, if a black woman is, but why are you so hard? Why are you so hard on us, though? Because like, I love y'all, and I have to ask these questions. And I and I got a daughter, and there's no way in hell my daughter would ever listen. If my daughter ever come in this motherfucker with a blonde wig on her head, I'm gonna fire her ass up so bad. So if I down. said like. If I said, like, man, you need to get your locks done every single day, man. Like, why are you? I would tell like, you that that's, I would tell you that my hair is going to fall out if I do that. So that's irrational. <laughs> okay. So that's the reason. Like, black hair is different. It's the, it, you have black hair, we have black hair. We wigs, we wear wigs to protect our hair. We wear wigs to change it up. You know, too much ma um, manipulation to our hair will make our hair fall out. Like, so there's why lots no, of so reasons why no, why, so, so why, to wear so wigs. Why, there's people who suffer. True. Wait, wait, wait. There's people who suffer from alopecia. There's people who have cancer and um, other diseases that make you have hair loss. Wigs are worn for different reasons. Where wigs have been worn, like I said, for the longest time. Men. We're wearing wigs. Sure. Now, I don't, black... I don't, I don't, I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question because I feel like that's, I feel like that's an excuse I'm that just... women, I feel like that's an excuse that, 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 that is that not protect... an excuse. Those let me are, ask you, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Those are facts. Let me, those let me are explanations ask you a question. Okay, so let me, for you. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Why, I'm going to ask you two questions. Question number one, why when women didn't wear wigs, their hair was longer? I won't even go back in ancient times. In the from from about the 1920s to the 1960s, black women's hair was longer than it is today, and they did not wear weave. I disagree. We, well, let, let, me, <laughs> no, let me make my point. The average black woman's hair today is shorter than it was when women was on a black power shit with them afros, and they was not wearing weave. So my thing is this. What exactly are y'all protecting y'all hair from? I need to know this. Protect? You never heard of protective styles? I heard of that, but what is the style? What are you protecting your hair from? From protecting from the elements of the weather, protecting from low manipulation. Okay, now let's let's go down the line. I let's have. Go, I'm gonna listen. Let's go down the line. Which let's let's as you say. Okay, it, so I'm you, you just it. said. You just said if you twist your hair all the time, that your hair will fall out. Because it will thin out. You, okay, thin out, fall out. So the same thing as us. If we keep, you know, touching our hair, manipulating it, you know, putting in different styles and stuff, like straightening all the time. We can't be I'm not saying I'm not saying straightening. If we wear it for protective why styles. Wear, why you can't just wear, why you can't just, just like braids. Your neck? Just, you know, we've been wearing braids for, for for the since the beginning. There's, you know, we wear different styles for our type of hair. It's not all about insecurity. Yes, maybe I'm some listen, people, I'm asking, maybe I'm some, saying, what, what, maybe what, some what, people are what insecure. About the, what what uh -huh. elements? What elements in the weather is more okay. dangerous versus the okay, chemicals so, versus the chemicals that's in okay. weed? Okay, so in the winter time, some people's hair dry out. So if we keep, you know, touching our hair all the time, manipulating it, putting it in twists and braids and different styles, it would, you know, it would thin out. It would, you know, cause us to lose our edges and stuff like that. We have dry, brittle hair. Our hair, our oils don't reach the um, longest parts of our strands of our hair. So if we keep touching our dry, brittle hair and we're, um, we don't leave it alone sometimes, we don't give it a break, we won't get that retention. We won't get that long hair that, you're, that you so desire us to have. And now, now, let me, now, let me, now let me respond to, to that, that as a guy. Let me respond to that as a male who has dry, brittle hair for a hairstyle. My hair grows extremely fast 
Mm -hmm. because I leave but your alone. hair is in a protective style you have no, locks. It's not. that's a protective style no it's, no, it's not listen sweet, what I, is I, it? I don't know if you it's ever not had loose locks. I don't know if you've ever had locks but let me explain to you from I someone have. who has okay so you know these shits every time I it's sweat it's a protective style every, no listen every time I sweat I'm at risk of my hair bonding together my shit my shit get dry my shit can fall I have to take care of this shit this shit not just this shit not just sitting on my head, not doing nothing. So I wouldn't say that this is a protective style. I would say that this is a hairstyle that needs to be maintained. But my thing is, when you say in the winter time, our hair could get brittle and fall out, why not oil your scalp? Why not, you know, I'm not saying that. Which woman... we do. We oil our scalp. Well, that's, okay, that's so part if your hair, the listen, if your hair, hair process. If your hair is sitting, if your hair is sitting underneath a weed which has cellular latex mm -hmm. chemicals within it mm -hmm. and the cellular latex actually gives you a miniature high this is why women's hair itches when they get it done and they get the patent it is because they getting they have an uh, allergic skin reaction to the chemicals in the weave so you say that the weave is a protective hairstyle from the weather but the the weave actually has way more dangerous chemicals in it than the weather so boom if you putting this weave on your head underneath the assumption Okay, that you say it's a protective style. What is more dangerous? Your hair being out and able to breathe and you having access to oil it or not if you choose or your hair being trapped underneath a wig or a lace front or a weave, not breathing at all. You're sweating. The bacteria and all of that stuff from your sweat is caking up. And I'm not saying you, but I'm pretty sure you have been around some women and they weave stank. And that, then this is where we go up. You got a stanky lace front out there. You who I'm talking about. Okay, all that sweat and, and microbacteria building up, and your hair's not breathing, not getting. Well, those if well, that can happen to people who don't take care of their hair. Of course, there are extreme cases like that. But people who take care of their hair, like most women that I know that take care of their hair, you don't wear weaves to that extent that will cause your hair to be like that. You and you change them out. You switch them up. You wear your natural hair a couple, a couple of months. You put the weave back. You wear braids. You color your hair. There's different options for us to have. I'm just saying I've studied natural hair for a long time. You know, I've been natural for a long time, and I know about natural hair. So I'm just saying that's a part of the protective styling process. Listen, I'm not. I'm not and here to. That can happen to people who do not take care of their hair, just like people who retwist their hair all the time, and their hair will thin out and they fall out. Like just you know, anybody can. Make, but that's you know, that's. But you're not supposed to do anything every day. But my thing is, it, there's. Are you telling me that there's not just as many natural protective hairstyles that there is unnatural protective hairstyles? Braids is a form of protective hairstyles. Singles is a form of a protective hairstyle. Getting your hair done and then wrapping it up naturally is a form of a protective hairstyle. So why skip so many options to just go get a wig? And then if the wig is a protective hairstyle. For convenience. Okay, now that's cool. I, listen, if that. For convenience. I'm not, now my thing is this. That's cool. Now if it's convenient, all I'm saying is the side effect of such a convenience may be that you are training me as a black man to be attracted to a woman who actually doesn't look like you when you take that off. So if a woman, we're, if a black woman wears a blonde wig for convenience, then that's fine. But what I'm saying is once I start becoming uh, attracted to, to blonde hairstyles, the majority of women on the, on the planet that got blonde hair is white. So my thing is, if you train me to be attracted to that beauty standard, then how can y'all be mad when we go shoot for when we go go for what y'all just taught us to know? Because, like I said before, because of that shallow reason. Like I'm not understanding, like why no other race do that. <laughs> I'm just yeah, saying, no, like, yeah, no why other we race, do that to each I've other? Never, like, I've no other a, race do that. No, no other race betray their own race like that. That's what I'm because just saying. Every, like, why, because no, yeah, because no other, so, race, no other race tries to look like black people. 
They don't they don't try to look like us unless they still have some lip injections and butt injections. Other than that, they try no to look other... like us all the time. I, like, I'm I, not... I don't when I wa when I cut TV on and I watch white women at the VMAs and I see white women, I'm not talking about I'm not talking about no no weak ass, whack ass, Iggy Azalea, whack ass type of fake fake hip. I'm talking about if you cut the news on and you see a real white woman that grew up in middle class or above didn't go to school with hardly no black people. She is not trying to act black. She got her she got her blonde or she got her uh what's that called? She got her blonde or her brunette hair done and she got on a she don't got on no Jordans or no shit like that. She do not got no sewing on or no shit like that. Don't use no slang or none of that. So we're not talking about white people that's been influenced by hip hop culture and or no or no post Malone ass white people. We're talking about real ass white people that that's white. They don't. They don't act like niggas. They don't even. White people don't even wear diamonds. They wear crystals and rubies. White people don't even buy jewelry. How we buy jewelry? Black people buy, buy gold and diamonds, and white people buy crystals and rubies. You see niggas with, like me with gold in our ear. You gonna see a, a real authentic white woman. She gonna have some shit that look ugly as a motherfucker in her ear, and it's gonna be a raw ass of meat. This crystal that's beyond most niggas' comprehension, and it look ugly as a bitch. So my thing is. White women don't try to look like us. They don't. They don't. They don't. For the most part, if we was to, if we was to take a hundred white women in a room, and take a hundred black women in a room, and put all of them in the same salon, none of them, more black women will come out with weaves that make them look like the white women versus the white women will come out with afros and cornrows. Promise you that. I'm willing to bet that. And I'm why is that? And why and why do you think that? I'm curious. Cause niggas, cause cause black women mm -hmm. subconsciously think that alternative appearances are more attractive on themselves. Okay, why do you think that? I'm curious. Why do you y'all think... y'all gotta tell me that shit? I don't. I don't. Th do you think um it has it has to come from a place of like okay okay you say insecurity yeah. okay so if I'm insecure. Do you think I believe that I look ugly with my natural hair? Yes. And why is that? You do you me. think do you think I look ugly with my natural hair? Hell no, that's why we having this conversation. So who told me that I was ugly? You. I told myself that. So all the black women that you're talking about woke up one day and say, I'm ugly. And no, the only you, way to look and the it, only way to look beautiful is to put on a wig. I'm ugly. The only way to look beautiful is to put on a wig. If no one ever told me that I wasn't ugly, if everyone told me that I was beautiful, my natural hair. Let me ask you. Let me let me if, ask you a question. Wait, wait, wait. If a million people said I was beautiful on my natural hair, why would I wake up one day and say I'm ugly and I want to? Why put would on you? A why wig? would you wake up one day and dress according to what anybody's telling you? But you. This is why I said you, because. Motherfuckers told yeah, we're me, no, pause, you're not talking. We're talking about women. Told me, motherfuckers mm -hmm. told me that I'm not educated and look how far I am now. But if I would have listened to people telling me what I should see in myself, then I wouldn't be me. So if a, if the if, if if white social media and TV and 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 niggas that got crackatosis is telling you that you look better with a wig on the day that you say. I'm gonna wear the wig is the day that you told your own self that you look better with what outside your natural self. So my thing is, it don't. I wouldn't give a fuck who the fuck told you you not good enough. The day that you accept that lie, you told you that you not good enough. So it's okay. So who told who 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 told me that? Who told us that? Told, well, white people told us that during slavery. So white people told us that we were ugly. Yes, they actually did. Okay, with our natural hair. Yes, for sure they did. Okay, so what did black men tell us? During slavery? No, so, I'm just saying if the black if the white man said we were ugly with our natural hair, what did the black man tell us? Niggas was trying to be like them white people, so they was following suit. So so niggas said that we were ugly too, right? The key word is too. Okay, that's so second, if white that's, men, that's not primary. so that's if, white, if white men and black men are both telling black women that they're ugly with their natural hair, 
wouldn't that develop an insecurity on why today women wear not wear weaves? It depends on how weak you are. You're supposed to be able to say, well, so white, if all, you're supposed to be able again, to say, again, you're supposed to be able if, to say, again, well, white man, I don't give a fuck if you think my natural hair is ugly. And black man, I don't give a fuck if you got krakatosis and you gonna look at me the way this nigga tell you to look at me. Fuck you and fuck you. So we're not, we not gonna do no excuse. That's like if a motherfucker tell me it's okay to date kids. If a white man, like, okay, let me give you the perfect example. This, 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 this pedosexual shit they trying to push. That, that's what? too extreme. No, it's, it's not extreme. It, you can't, no, it's, it's compare, extreme. It's you about, can't compare it's about, that. It's about, it's about attraction. That's too, that's hair about, and ped, hair and pedophilia. That's too extreme. No, it's like, not. It's about, be, find it's another about example. It's about attraction. Find another example. It's about attraction. It's about attraction. We're talking about what Wait, white people. This we're talking is about sexual what white orientation about, versus we're hair. We're talking about what white people said they're attracted mm -hmm. to. White people said they're not attracted to black hair. Black coon ass niggas. Some of them feel the same way. Now you're saying this plays a part of your security, which causes, I ain't gonna say you, but some women to submit to that. Okay, you got some white men out there. Not all, but some of them say they're attracted to little motherfucking kids and that sexuality is, it doesn't have an age limit. Now, you got some stupid-ass niggas out there that would agree with that. So now, what if me as a black man did the same thing you said you just did, and I said, well, if white men start telling me that it's okay to be attracted to kids, and then black men start saying, yeah, they agree with that, then what do you expect me to do? I can't answer that because it doesn't compare... That's no, two extremes. If I, I do I answer think, that, that would be a whole too, different I don't topic think that, that I don't want to get into. We're talking about hair. So Okay. I'll give you a smaller extreme. Selling drugs. The first drug dealers, <laughs> the first drug dealers, the first drug dealers was white people. And then black people picked it up. So now does that so now so now would you want your kids to grow up and say, Well mom? I'm only selling drugs because white people start doing it and then black people start doing it. So what you expect me to do? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. It's, that doesn't compare. Yes, it do. Yes, it do. What you just what you just said is basically. We're talking we're talking people. about feelings. We're not talking about actions. We're talking about no, feelings. No, you're talking about you We're talking about insecurity. When a, when, a we're black talking woman, about insecurity. when a black woman goes and puts in some blue ass contacts. And she goes and puts on a blonde wig. That's an action. <laughs> but we were talking about insecurities. I'm talking about the reasons behind the, niggas, the question. Niggas, we're, niggas, we're go to jail. niggas go we're to jail deeper. every day. Let's Pause. get deep. No, no, you're not. See, see, you can't. See, see, now here's, here's the thing. Because a lot of women do this and they don't realize they're doing this. Y'all negate men's emotional health. Do you know how many niggas choose to be drug dealers and choose to go to prison? because they insecure about their ability to articu articulate themselves in society. Do you know how many niggas do, do you know how many niggas go to jail and do 10 years and then go back on purpose because they're afraid to be in society? Do you know how many niggas is afraid to go to a job interview because they don't feel that they can speak that well? Some every nigga that And why industry, is that? Because I'm trying, because, I'm because the same to. reason you wear weed. The same reason when you wear Thank weed. Thank you because from the insecurities person, because, the because Yes, from now, the now, for, now, 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 isn't now, now, that a on, psychological now add warfare? Now add, warfare. On now add on to that because niggas is weak. I need you. Ooh, niggas have you weak. ever um heard of a uh, keep going? I need to look it up for you. Hopefully, right. you see that because niggas is weak because because somebody told it. I see that people want me to get off, but um, before I go, I want you to tell me if you ever heard of this doctor. It's about PTSD and. And how, like, the have you ever heard of that? The pe um, yeah, 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 yeah. So, when you think about that, you can't go to surface things like drugs and pedophilia. When that's you're not talking surface. about that, starts psychologically. Well, those are actionable things. I'm talking about insecurities, feelings, the reasons behind them. The reasons behind those actions. Are you saying that? You're talking about actions. That, I'm talking about the that, reasons are you behind that, it. Are you saying that if somebody is attracted to the same sex or someone of an opposite sex but at a younger age, that that is not psychologically in the same categories of somebody being motivated to, 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 to being attracted to not looking like themselves or 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 
in in simpler terms, somebody being attracted to or feeling less feeling like they own race is not good enough. Both all of those all of those started in the mind. Okay. So when we're talking about slavery, I'm talking we're, we're talking about slavery. We were talking about slavery and why black women will have the have these insecurities and I was talking about if the white men are calling black women ugly all the time and the black men also that would develop those insecurities and those will answer your questions on why you will feel that black women are wearing wigs now let me ask you let me ask you a question you know what year it is right yes ain't nobody never whipped you and called you an n-word and told you to pick no cotton have they no you got a phone and you can push it up and google it right Yes. So since we know that the origins of black women permanent here and trying to wear wigs in this country. But you don't think that those is, things are still going on to this day? I didn't like, say Kodak that. Black I didn't say, I didn't say that. I didn't, listen, sex trafficking is going on to this day. That don't mean yes. I like kids. So my thing is, if you know as a black woman that the convenient hairstyles that you choose to wear from time to time come from a, and are rooted in self-hate, be a slavery. If you choose to partake in them today, why? What's so hard about y'all saying we are choosing to partake in an image that was t th that we okay. originally? Whoa, pause. We are choosing okay. to partake in an image today that originally we partook in because we didn't feel like we good. We were good enough back then. Black women felt like they were less beautiful, and today y'all say it's an option. Okay, that's like so a, that's like a crackhead saying. That's like that's like if a that's like a crackhead saying, "Well, when I was young, somebody slipped some drugs in my drink." Okay, you didn't mean to get on drugs back then, but today you are going to the crack house to buy crack. So, so, so what? So what? Then you were a victim of today. You are willfully partaking in today. It's an option. If you get up and you go to the crack house to buy some crack, you can't blame that shit on Ronald Reagan and the motherfucking CIA. You are a crackhead. So my thing is, if black women can identify factually that certain hairstyles and beauty standards are rooted and come from self-hate, if you engage in them shits today, what part of that is not a little bit of self-hate? Or what part of that is not a little bit of still, you know, what part of that is not upholding that belief system? That, well, you are right. Some of that is self-hate. And that's that comes from what we were talking about before so if black women wear their hair out so you say would you find would you think they will be more um found more attractive hell shit you can fuck with me you but can fuck with me all day do you feel like those men that used to call black women ugly do you think they're still calling black women ugly in their natural state hell broadly no. They're not doing that. They're not doing that no, on Twitter we, it, and social because media it's about, it's and about calling exposed. us nappy headed and stuff like that. You don't think are that's still going on to the state? Let me, let me ask and you a that's feeding you a the question. insecurity even let me ask more. You a question. Let me ask you a question. Do you drive? Yes. Do you believe that other people drink and drive? Yes. Does that stop you from driving? No. Okay, then. So if you can go to the store every day in your car, knowing that potentially the motherfucker behind you might be drunk and kill you and everybody in your car and that doesn't stop you why no no why is somebody why is somebody having an opinion that you know is a toxic opinion we're not we're not even saying they got a right if a motherfucker say something negative about a black woman wearing her natural hair you know that that's a toxic coon ass opinion so my thing is why why would you be afraid of some shit that you already know don't even matter? That's like a that's like a white person telling me. That's like a white person telling me right now. Um niggas got a nigga, you got a big nose. Nigga, I know that. That doesn't bother me. I don't you really just, know where that shit come from. Okay, so, so if you're if you're not attracted to women with long hair and you're not attracted to women with natural hair. I didn't say I'm not attracted to women with long hair. You just said that. You said it, no, you said it was about attraction, right? You yeah, said it was about attraction. If a woman got long hair, I'm not saying that's not attractive. I'm saying 
I'm not with the lace front shit. I'm not with the weave yeah, shit. I'm, I'm not about, with the yeah, but, yeah, I'm talking about the wigs and stuff. You say you're not attracted to the wigs. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I ain't say I'm not but, attracted And to you them. said that some men are not attracted to natural hair. I don't know. I don't know no man personally that doesn't like women with their natural hair. Now, we speaking about a certain texture of hair, then that's more in detail. But I don't know no man that is not attracted to a woman who has actual hair growing out of their head. I don't know no man. So when we say natural hair, we got to remember, the not saying you, but just people in general, they're putting the self-hate on what the natural hair looks like. I didn't give it no texture. I just said natural hair. So, so when mm -hmm. black women say natural hair and they start thinking a kinky, coily and describing it in a negative manner, I'm not doing that shit. Women doing that shit. Black women, I got to say y'all, because you a black woman, y'all are doing that shit. I don't know no man that that would prefer a woman to have artificial hair on her head. Y'all y'all, y'all train us to like that shit. It's like the circus. I don't know no motherfucking lion that jumps through hoops. You train the lion to do that shit. I don't know no nigga that, I, I've never been in a, I've never took a woman to the beauty store and been like, oh, look at that motherfucking wig. That shit fire. Hell, I don't like that shit. You can get you can get a feet fucking with me. You, you shit. You can get it in that rack. These women can get it. I don't give a fuck about no woman with no so I don't know no niggas that's naturally attracted to ask him. Ask your man, ask your king. Ask him right now. Do you prefer me with the hair that's growing out of my head or the hair that we about to go buy next week? Ask him. He's going to say yes. The He's gonna, the first one. Exactly. He prefers me with my natural hair. That's my point. That's my point. But okay, that's but just point. because he prefers that, that doesn't necessarily mean that I have to wear it all the time. I have, no, I, I have I to you, no, I'm, not, I'm not obligating you to have mm -hmm. a certain look because you are your own individual. All mm -hmm. I'm trying to do is bring awareness to black women to let y'all know we don't give a fuck about what TV say y'all got to look like. We don't give a fuck about what love and hip hop say y'all got to look like. Mm -hmm. We love what y'all really look like. And until mm -hmm. y'all start to love what y'all really look like too, y'all are going to continue having issues with niggas dating white women and doing all of the shit y'all don't like us doing because y'all are perpetuating their beauty standards. That's it. If every nigga right now. Well, right if, now, you, if, if you if tell us more, if it was more of you telling us more that our natural hair was beautiful, then more women will wear it. It's no, just it plain and simple you. like that. It gotta be you. Nobody told me that I was intelligent. I had to tell myself, nigga, you could read. Do not you, at first. Do you, not when you were a child. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever heard me fuck up a word in one video? Yes or no? Huh? What did you have, say? Have you ever watched a YouTube video of mine? No. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure people in the comments have. I fuck words up all the time. I make mistakes all the time. That shit don't make me feel... If anything, niggas troll me for fucking up a word. But if I let people tell me that I wasn't what I believed, I, I wouldn't be me. You don't need me to certify you. You need you to certify you. Trends get set because somebody say this is hot, not because I tell a motherfucker that something is hot. When outfits get hot, it be because somebody created it and they say this shit is hot and we agree. Not nigga that's hot or it's not. So my thing is when, when black women get in their bag, it's because you get in your bag. You don't need me as a nigga to tell you to get in your bag. You don't need me to say we love them big lips and them, and them chocolate skin and that curly ass. Why like, not? Why not? Why wouldn't you want to tell us that? You praise the other women. Do I control you? you? The other races. Do I control you? Do I control you? Do I breathe your air for you? What they got to do with praising us? Let me you ask you a question. Do, you need, do I need to tell white women to love their long blonde hair? No. Okay. So why do I need? Why to would tell, you have so to tell why them do that? I need to tell you. So why do I need to tell you to love your black hair? To, to love because your black Because if you hair? you, I keep I feel like you kept forget, forget, keep forgetting what you're saying. If you're saying back in the day you were telling us you and the white man were telling us all 
that we were ugly with our natural hair. Wouldn't you want to correct correct that? Wouldn't you want to praise us more because of that stigma that you put what, upon what us? I, what I want to do. Did you ever hear about good hair, bad hair? It like, don't matter what you, I want to do. Don't you see the documentary? It don't matter what I, so basically what you're saying is you're going to look according to what most people say they like. That's basically what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. Huh? Basically, what I'm hearing is you're you're going to look according to what most people say they like. No, I'm going to look what I like. What I like. I I, I will hope so. So mm -hmm. I will. So I will hope that I will. Let me ask you a question. If 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 I'm gonna just this is gonna be hypothetical. If somebody say you got two choices right now, wear your natural hair for the rest of your life. Or wear this wig or this weave for the rest of your life. Which one are you choosing? I will wear my natural hair. Thank you. Oh, that's all I need. Thank you very much. Thank you. At least, whoa. At least we. At least we. We. We did. But I love my natural hair. I see a lot of people don't think that, but I do. I love my natural hair, and I love. Now you could. You could love. You could love. So. People love people. What you love don't mean you prefer it though. Like people. People love their motherfucking kids. That don't mean they prefer to raise them. So my yeah. thing is, so my thing is, we're not gonna use the word love. And someone, and someone said, like, why you need the validation? Everyone wants validation. Yeah. No, only yeah. people that want validation. No, everyone that wants. I don't know what happened, man. Instagram kicked us out. Instagram kicked us out. I don't know what happened. Instagram kicked us out. It wasn't me. Instagram kicked us out. It was not me. I don't know what happened. Instagram kicked us out. Can I get a white person on here, please? This is a very respectful platform. It ain't going to be out of pocket. If anybody out of pocket, I'm blocking them. Y'all know how we rock. Can I get a white person on here, please? Is there a white woman in the comments, please, that'll come on here for two seconds? You don't even got to show your face. Just come on here, please. Come on here, please. Can I get a white woman on here? Can I please get a white woman on here? Jay Versace, listen, can we... Jay Versace, go send a white woman this way. Or a Latino, yes. Can I get a white woman on this motherfucker, please? Can I please get a white woman on here? Because y'all know we gonna, dare, we gonna dive deep. Or a white guy. Who said they know a white guy? Listen, I need a real white person, dog. I don't need no white person on, that's gonna come on here and try to say some shit we wanna hear because we black. No, I don't want none of that. I like my shit. I like my truth with a capital T. I need a real motherfucking white person on this motherfucker. I need a real white person. I need a real white person. Or non-black. Like like uh Golden said, not somebody that's not black. Please come on this motherfucker and talk to us about your you know what I'm saying, your beauty stick. And don't come on this bitch lying. Don't come on this bitch trying to tell me what I want to hear. Please come on this motherfucker and talk to me, please. I I need to ask a white woman, how many times have you ever wore a wig? I'm honest. I'm dead ass it. I'm dead ass serious. Who who is rat four oh two? Let me see. Who is that? If you not, if you, if you not, if you don't consider yourself black, you know what I mean. Pull up, pull up. And if you a black woman and you got a blonde wig on, or you was in my comments trying to defend that shit, you can come on too. You can come on this motherfucker too. I need a male or a, I need a non-black male or female to come on this motherfucker. I need a non-black male or female to come on this motherfucker. Please. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Please do. Please do. Why y'all keep jumping in my comments talking about white women wear extensions? Nobody give a fuck about no extensions. 
They not they not getting afros sold into their motherfucking head. What you all talking about? I could I could deal with an extension. If you got if you go get if you get some fox locks or something, I could respect that. If you go get some micro braids, I can I could respect that. Okay? I'm talking about going to get white people hairstyles sold into your motherfucking head. What y'all keep talking about extensions for? Why give a fuck about no extensions? We talking about weave. You know what weave is? Weave? You ever weave some shit? What white people do not weave in nigga hair. White people do not go to white people's salons and weave in your, your kinky ass hair. They don't do that. Y'all keep talking about extensions. Extension. An extension is just an extension of what you already have. Not going to put some shit on your head that you don't already have. Why y'all keep jumping in my comments talking about what they wear extensions though? We not talking about extensions. I could rock extensions. Listen, I could I could fuck with some, some micro braids. I could fuck with some fox locks. If you already got locks and you want to wear some extensions till your shit get long, I could jack that. I could jack that. Come on now. Can we get a... I need a motherfuck, man. Listen, man. Okay, we got a Dominican in here. Okay. I need a non-black woman in the bit. Listen, if you are not... If you... If you are, are non-black or you know a lot of white people... Who is that? Who is Ain't No 27? Who are you? Are you white? I need a non-black non-black person on here for these questions. We having a mature intellectual conversation right now. I need a non-black person. Let's go. I opened my window because it was it was hot as hell and the fucking fly flew in here and I'm about this close to going against the universe and killing this motherfucker because he's been getting on my nerves. Let's go. I didn't say black women was bald headed. I didn't say I didn't say black women was bald headed. Can we get some somebody now? Now look, now it's quiet. Now it's quiet. Now it's quiet. Okay. Okay. Now it's quiet. All right, I thought so. Let me see who I'm going to pull up. Okay, let me see. Oh, I think she in the request. Okay, let me see. I think I got somebody in the request. Hold on. If you're in the request, jump in the comments and let me know your, Let me know what you identify with because I ain't just going to accidentally pull somebody on and they not for the... How you doing, sweetheart? How are you? I'm okay. So, um, I don't want to assume anything, but, um, you know, give us your ethnicity. Oh, wait, oh. hold on. I'm Dominican and Puerto Rican from New York. Okay. Oh, you're from New York and all that. No, I'm just yeah. <laughs> okay, so did you see the last previous live stream I just had with the queen that was on? I did, and I respect her opinion, but I think women go through that phase at one point until they realize who they are and just don't give a damn what people think or say. So oh. at one point, I was, like, wearing wigs, and... People are like, well, you're Latin. Why are you wearing wigs? Well, I also have hair. Like, okay, what do I do with it? Like, I don't know what to do with it. So wigs were like the it thing. Like, okay, I could do it. I mean, like, I could get up, go out, and I don't have to fix the hair, the edges, you know? Casadilla, you getting added next, Casadilla. No, go ahead. I hear you. <laughs> so then I... um. And then I liked the feeling that it was protecting my crown because I was going through a spiritual... I don't know. I was going through a spiritual moment and it was protecting my crown until a point, I think, that that season passed and I didn't want anything on my head anymore. Okay. So, I can agree with that. Let me ask you a question. Did you grow up around predominantly black people or predominantly Dominican or Hispanic women? No, I grew up in, in the black area. Okay. You yeah. who I'm looking for, but you're not fully who I'm looking for. I'm looking for, I'm not looking for people that's been influenced by the psychological blueprint of niggas, you know, growing up around there. I need me a, a, 
thoroughbred, non-black, don't give a, I mean, don't give a fuck about no black history type of black person. So that way I can ask them an honest ass question about their beauty standards. But uh, I appreciate that piece because I agree with that. I agree, you know, with that as far as, you know, women wearing certain things on their heads until they come to certain realizations. But there's a, uh, uh, what I'm looking for, there's a white woman in the comments and I'm going to attempt to pull her up and ask her some questions. You do that because, uh, yeah, I'm not Marsha and Brady. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right. you have a good one. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, let's try to get Casadilla on here. Here we go. Damn, it says she unable to join. Damn, hold on. I don't know if you, I don't know if you, if your page private or what, Casadilla, but it say you unable to join. Who who else in here is non-black? Who else in here is non-black? Who else in here wear weave and they want to come in here and try to defend weave? Somebody talking about you want to mind and to defend your narrative. Yeah, I, yeah, motherfucker, you right. I want a non-black person to come in here and tell me when they go to the salon, what is their hairstyle of choice? The fuck? The fuck is y'all talking about? What narrative? The fucking hair salon ain't no damn narrative. Okay, I got a brunette Tracy. Let's try to get brunette Tracy on here. Let's try to get brunette Tracy on here. And y'all be very respectful to anybody that comes on my platform. Y'all know how I'm rocking. Okay? Y'all be better. Uh, peace. Do you, do you want the face? Thing? No. Yo. Your signal hey. acting up. Oh. Listen, your signal, your, your signal acting up, family. Your Hi. Acting up. Hey. Your si How you doing, sweetheart? Your signal acting up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, brunette Tracy, I don't want to freeze my live. Um, I don't want to freeze my live. So if you can try to get your signal together and then you know I'll pull you back on. But that's what I need. That's what I need up in here. I want to I I need women that's not black to tell me when they go to the salon what is their hairstyle of choice. And if you want to if you black and you want to defend weed, please tell me. Ain't no 27. Who are you? Are you black or 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 where you consider yourself? I'm not just pulling anybody on here. Where's it? okay? He said he's a white guy. Let's go. Let's pull him up. Let me ask him a question. I'm asking simple ass questions here. As far as beauty standards go. Damn, I had the subject pin. That's my bad. I'm gonna repin it. Somebody type it so I can pin it. Somebody type the subject. What's going on? Now this is what I need. A white guy. <laughs> How you doing, family? What's up with you? I'm all right. Hey. I'm doing all right. Hey, I really want to uh, tell you I appreciate you, man. I watch you. I've been watching you for about a year now. That's love. I appreciate and that. Right now, right now, my heart is just racing right now. I appreciate you, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, Listen, I'm going to tell you you got to fix you got to fix your signal. Okay, you straight. You back. You back. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Like I said, man, my heart racing, man. I appreciate it, man. Listen, you all right, man. You all right. You all right. We going we going we going uh what you call it? We going to vibe on this one. You all right. But listen, I appreciate it. Much love. I appreciate the support. And um I want to ask you a question cuz right now your services are needed right now as a non-black person. Let me ask you a question. I believe it. I'm willing to assume, but I want to ask, did you grow up around non-black people majorly? I mean, majority, as a majority. Let me say this. I grew up in a black neighborhood, but I put myself around, you know, everybody, but I put myself around actually high-class people. Okay. You know, people that are good. Okay. So I want to assume, you know, that your mother or the females in your family are white. Yes. Okay. Now, have you ever seen your mama go to the salon and get a sewing? I have not. Okay, then. 
I'm proving the point. Now, listen, y'all, I'm finna ask the questions that need to be asked now. Do you have sisters or aunts? I got sisters. I got aunts. Have you ever seen any of your Caucasian sisters or aunts go to the motherfucking salon and get a sewing? I have not. Okay. So when they go to get their hair done, they do their natural hair in whatever style they want, correct or incorrect? You're correct. Now, do they wear weaves <clears throat> or or lace fronts and, 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 and say that they wear them as a form of protection for their own natural hair? Uh, no, they don't. They actually, you know, wear natural. Thank you very much. Now, let me ask you a question. <clears throat> if you seen your mama, I'm, be, I'm kind of funny, but I'm being realistic. If you seen, if you came in the house and you seen your mama with my motherfucking dreadlocks in her hair, or you seen your mama with a sewing of a black person's hair, would that not initially strike you as odd? Of course, Thank of course. You. So now, it's listen. I have no problem with you being white and white people loving how they look to be white. But the the reason I'm doing this is so black people can understand what the fuck, man. Nobody does this shit but us. God damn. And then when I tell a black woman, wear your motherfucking hair because we love your shit, you going to argue with me about me trying to love you. So now I got to get a white person on here to ask this man and the whole entire fucking span of his existence, have you ever seen your mama get a lace front or a sewing? He says no. But everybody in my comments that's black, including me, we don't have that that answer. One of y'all mamas is going to get their hair done right motherfucking now. So my thing is, let me ask you a question. And you could be honest. We're going to be very respectful, but you could be honest. What do you think about black women that wear blonde wigs or weaves? I don't, I will not fuck with them. They have to be natural. That's anybody. Even white women, Mexican, they got to be natural. They can't be coloring their hair, none of that. Okay. Now, I don't know if I truly agree on the hair color, but we, you know, we, we I agree with you on the natural. Now, here's the thing. What is it about weave or wigs that you, as a non-black man, find distasteful? Well, <clears throat> it's fake, and people are just really um, insecure about their self. They, they just don't have that confidence, and they don't have control over their self. Listen, y'all, these are the conversations that we need. I'm going to start having shit like this more on this motherfucking platform. So let me ask you a question. If a black woman, right, if you had to choose, okay, and we, I'm going to say black woman, I don't know if you're attracted to them or not. I am, but I'm going to just put you in my seat. If there was a black woman with her natural hair and there was a black woman with a weave or a sewing, who who would you who would you feel more comfortable dating? The one with natural hair, because the one with the, you know, wig and stuff like that, they're just, like I said, they're just fake and they want to be somebody else. Now, listen, y'all. This is a non-black man on here having a conversation with a black man. And I'm telling y'all the same shit he's saying. No, nobody is. We love y'all. But the only difference is. Non-black women are not trying to look or or wear weaves or sewings. The only thing is, we the ones doing that. So now, that is not only coming out of my mouth, that is coming out of somebody who's not black mouth. Why is y'all gonna still sit up here and argue with us about this shit? Okay, is y'all gonna still sit up here and debate with us about this shit? We like motherfuckers that look like however they were born to look. When y'all start going to get them blind ass lace fronts and all that, that's beyond me. That's not, that's beyond me. You forcing me now to become attracted to like the, like, I don't know if you was watching the last one, but the one queen that was on, she said, uh, you going to see my hair eventually. So let me ask you a question as a, as a non-black male, have you ever dated a non-black woman and you had to eventually see what she really looks like? Of course. No, yeah. No, no, no. I'm saying, like, have you ever dated a white woman and she and she wore a wig and you didn't later see what she didn't look like until she took the wig off? What I'm saying is, like, I've dated a woman with, like, 
color hair and stuff like that. And next thing you know, she she went natural and she just wasn't my type. That's what I mean. Okay. I, I can respect that, the, the, the hair dye. But it was a hair dye, so it wasn't a weave or a wig, correct? Uh-uh. So the length of the hair was the same, but the color wasn't the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I, can, I I hear where you're going with that, though. So um, I don't really know what to say. <laughs> yeah. I don't really know what to say to y'all. You know what I'm saying? I really don't know what to say to y'all. You know, I'm I'm on here trying to make a point. I'm not trying to make nobody feel insecure or belittle nobody. I'm on here trying to make a point because we talking about we talking about the future of how we are going to be physically attracted to each other as black people. And so it's important because the point I'm trying to make is nobody in their households, okay, that's not black is is dealing with the level of beauty or you know beauty stigma that we dealing with white people are not growing up you know getting popped with cones have you have your mother ever told you any stories of her mother abusing her while doing her hair because she was unsatisfied with the texture of her hair i have not right but that's shit we going through you feel me we can pop all your shit pop boo perming our shit combing our y'all females in the comments know i'm not lying I didn't, I got sisters, motherfucker. Don't play me. I got three fucking sisters. Don't play. I didn't see this shit. So the 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 beauty standards that we hold in our motherfucking community is crazy right now. Okay. I'm finna bring Red Fine Ass in because I see her keep flying through the comments. I'm finna bring her in. That's her name, Red Fine Ass. I'm finna bring her in now. But the point I'm trying to make is the beauty standards that we uphold in the, in our households are not being upheld in nobody else's households. So you know, why the fuck do y'all get mad at me when I highlight this shit? But um, I, I appreciate you, you know, coming on this platform and, um, you know, aiding me in this, uh, you could say, social experiment that I'm trying to have right now. Uh, I appreciate the support and may you keep watching. Of course. Can I say one thing? Go ahead. Um, <clears throat> I just want to say this. I watch your live a lot and a lot of people, when they come onto your live, they don't give you respect because this is your your platform. They don't give you the chance to talk. And when you're debating, they don't want to understand it. And I just want to tell these people that y'all got to understand what is really happening in this world. You know what I'm saying? And y'all got to give respect because this is his uh, platform. I appreciate that very much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. You have a good one. All right now. See, I can do that. We can do that all day. I can do that all day. You know, I, we can do that all day. People that, see, this is why I love my platform. Because this motherfucker is so universal. As long as you righteous in your spirit and respect, we can have all kind of goddamn, uh, whatchamacallit, you know, con uh, conversations on here. As long as, as long as it's straight. You feel what I'm saying? As long as this was, this is why I love this platform. Because you can't do that on no other platform. You cannot have a non-black person come on a, 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 a motherfucking platform like this and have a dialogue that gives us a deeper insight to the motherfucking conversations we trying to really have. This is why y'all can't, this is why I love, this is why I move the way I move, man. This is why I move the way I move. Straight up. This is why I move the way I move. Now, who want, where's Shorty go that one to get pulled up? Now who wanna come on this motherfucker and defend and defend some weed? Who wanna come on this motherfucker? Who wanna come on this motherfucker? Let me see. Let me see. Oh, they not in the request. Okay. Yeah, all right. Who wanna come on this motherfucker? Who wanna come on this motherfucker? Exactly, higher perspectives. Exactly. I've never exactly, bro. The real, the real, uh, Studi, Studi too groovy. Never heard a white woman say she can't go outside till her, uh, unless her motherfucking weed done. Who want to come on here? Who is Hannah? I don't see Hannah. Who want to come on here? Who is Hannah? Y'all keep saying get Hannah. Who is either Red or Hannah? Red or Hannah, jump in the comments. Who 
Who is Hannah? Y'all tag their name. Okay, I see Hannah. Hannah Kristoff. Let me put her up. <laughs> Let me put her up. See, we about that. We about to. We about to go through this shit tonight. Peace. How you doing, sweetheart? Hey, how you doing? I'm all right. Listen, I appreciate you pulling up on the platform. Um, how long have you been watching this dialogue? Um, I tuned in a little bit ago. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. catch you up. Okay. Okay. Because I don't want to just thrust you in the middle of the shit I be doing. Okay. Right now, I'm looking for a non-black person, specifically a white girl. And you kind of fit the exact bill of the white girl that I need to work on. <laughs> now, I'm having a dialogue with the women of my race to tell them that I believe that they're more attractive when they wear their natural hair. My opinion. Everybody has their opinion. That's my opinion. So I was, you know, stating to the women of my race, not only my infatuation with how much I feel they're attracted when they look their own self, I wanted to pull up women who were not black and ask them questions in regards to their beauty standards when they go to the salon to do a comparison because I'm telling, I'm trying to tell black women, okay, that certain hairstyles such as blonde wigs, okay, make them look white and white people don't go to salons and sewing motherfucking afros and cornrows or nothing like that to look black. So my mm -hmm. thing was, you know, people started jumping in my comments saying that, you know, white women wear extensions or they wear wigs and everybody wear lace and all of this. So I just wanted to ask you, as a white woman, have mm -hmm. you ever went to the salon and got a weave? No. Okay. No. Now don't give me your exact age. Don't give me your exact age because it's <laughs> the internet. Don't give me your exact age. But would you say you're in your early 20s or your late 20s? Early. So early in 20 something, so in 20 something years of living, you have never went to the salon and got a uh and got a and got a weave? No. Have you ever wore a wig? I have. Cuz okay. Uh, I'm a, yeah. But not like I'm a performer, so for a performance or Things like that. Okay, so you wore the wig for performing standards, but not because, you know, is what you wanted to wear. Now, let me ask you a right. question. You've never wore a wig, which means that it's safe to assume you've never had a sewing, okay? Right. So with that being said, as a white woman, okay, when you see people who are not white wearing, because I ain't going to lie to you, if I see a non-white person I mean, a non-black person with dreadlocks, it upsets me. I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to be totally honest with you. So if you see a non-white person with blonde hair and it's a wig or a lace front, who do you feel they're trying to look like? A black person, for sure. No, no, it no. Would no. Be bizarre. See, right, it or would be what? bizarre, right? Yeah. Okay, so... It just wouldn't be right. Like. So if you see a black woman with a blonde wig on, that's bizarre to you, right? If it's not bizarre. Black... It's a little bit more dramatic. For me, it's like a little bit more dramatic the other way around. Okay. Like now the re the reason yeah. I'm asking you the reason I'm asking you this question is because I'm trying to I'm trying to prove a point here. I'm doing like a little socially thing right now. And my yeah. point is I'm trying to tell black women that I love y'all. We love y'all. Not all, because we know that some black women wear their natural hair. But for those who want to argue with me about weave, for those of you who want to argue with me about you wearing a blonde wig because it's a motherfucking hairstyle, okay, I'm trying to prove to y'all that nobody goes to the motherfucking salon and puts another person's racist style of hairstyle in their head because it's an option, okay? So this is, we two for two now with white people. We got a white male come on here. And say that he never seen his female white counterparts ever get a motherfucking lace front or a sewing. And we have a white woman on here, okay, saying that she's never had a weave or a lace front. So my thing is, you know, I want you to know you could be comfortable, you know, uh, expressing how you feel, okay? I like the words you chose to use, you know, bizarre and dramatic, okay? They was, they was very, uh, you know, colorful. But Appropriate. Yeah, that was appropriate. But I understand that's beyond that shit be beyond you. Okay, we're gonna keep it above. Yeah. When you see a black person with a blonde wig, I know you be like, What the fuck is that? Because that's how I feel. When I see a white person with dreadlocks, 
I'd be like, come on, man. Like, that's my, that's our style. So I know when you see a black person and they got blonde hair, I know you'd be looking like, girl, like, come on now, that's our style. I know you do. You ain't got to, you ain't got to. I totally it, I get it. I mean, I get it. But for me, I just love, like, seeing any form of self-expression. So I appreciate it in whatever form it takes. Now, let me ask you a question. <laughs> if if you had to choose between getting your natural hair done, or let me no, let me ask you another question that that women use. This is gonna be my mm -hmm. last question. Mm -hmm. Do you wear weave or sew-ins as a protective style to protect your real hair? No, I prefer okay. natural. Okay, so let me I mean. ask you a question. Do you feel? that there is anything you need to be trying to protect your hair from at the level to where you need to wear a weave or a wig? No. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much. This concludes our conversation. <laughs> I, I appreciate you coming on here. Much love. Thank you for, for keeping sure. in the buck. And may you keep for watching. Sure. Peace. Thank you. <laughs> All right, now. All right. I'm going to listen. I'm going to prove my motherfucking point. Y'all not going to play with me. Y'all not going to, who else want to come on this motherfucker? Who else want to come on this motherfucker? Who else want to come on this motherfucker? I'm not asking y'all if, I'm not asking y'all if white people got different hair. I'm not asking y'all none of that. We talking about any woman that's non-black, okay? Do you or do you not wear weaves or sew-ins? That's the point I'm trying to make. Do you or do you not wear weaves or sew-ins? That's the point I'm trying to make, okay? Because y'all want to keep playing this game. And I'm tired of motherfuckers. Every time I say something about a motherfucking weave, y'all want to keep talking about some goddamn, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, white people wear sew-ins and extensions. and I, I, So let's put some white people on this motherfucker then. And ask them. See? You know, you, we, we, listen. Listen. I'm going to prove my point. Okay? We, we love, we, we, we spend trillions of motherfucking dollars putting it in, uh, what you call it? Uh, Arabs and Korean people pockets and white people pockets. When it comes to the hair industry, okay, why can't you put that same money in your own motherfucking pockets, looking like your own motherfucking self? Come on, dog, y'all not about to argue with me about that shit, man. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all not about to. Uh, y'all not about to play with me. Y'all motherfuckers spend trillions of dollars. Uh, investing. In, in non-black races, okay, and then want to talk shit, and then want to talk shit. Why you look? Why you? Why you? Well, what the fuck? What the fuck? So, y'all you know I mean we gonna keep it moving? 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 Because my point is, y'all talking about is is it insecurity? Is it insecurity? I I we two for two. I done had two white people come on here and say. When they see white, black women, specifically with that blonde wig on, it's a little beyond them. It would be beyond me, too, if I was white. Just like when I see white people with dreadlocks, this shit be beyond me, okay? It be beyond me, because that's not for y'all. That's for us. So, what's up? What's up? Who else want to come on here? Who else want to come on here? We love y'all, man. We love you. It's called Tough Love. I love y'all. We're, I want to. I don't. I don't want no black woman with no blind ass motherfucking wig on. Cause if that's the case, I might as well go date a white girl. And if I go date a white girl, you gonna be talking about some nigga you cooning and blah 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 blah. But then you could you could motherfucking you could motherfucking look like a white girl. But I'm not allowed to date a white girl. Well, why the fuck do you want me to be attracted to something that you don't want me to date? What you talking about? If I start wearing eight motherfucking eyes on my motherfucking face to look like a spider. And then you start becoming attracted to motherfucking spider. I'm going to be mad that you come in the house one day with a motherfucking tarantula. I trained you to be attracted to that by constantly flaunting it in your face. So y'all, 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 y'all got the game fucked up, man. Y'all got the game fucked up. Y'all got the game fucked up. Who want to Okay, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a bring some people on. Oh, it's hot in here right now, Miss Riceway. It's hot. It's hot in this motherfucking live right now. I know they mad at me. And I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Look at they and this motherfucker mad. They said, "Well, we." 
Well, yeah, 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 yeah. How you doing, sweetheart? How you doing? I'm on. Now you just came on here with your rap. I know you about to set some on. Woo! You about to come on here and get me and get it straight for us? Yeah, I, I, because I'm seeing a lot of people in the comments about how, you know, white women wear extensions, and I'm like, okay, even if they do wear extensions, it still looks like their hair. You know what I'm saying? It still looks like their hair. They're not walking around with kinky extensions in their hair. I, me as a black person. I cut all my hair off. I'm natural. I love wearing my scarves. I even dyed my hair gray because there's another stigma that, you know, pe people don't like wearing their gray hair. And I try to show, like, your gray hair is beautiful. So I even dyed my own hair gray because I just get tired of people trying to cover up their natural hair, trying to cover up what's real. That's right. So, I mean, I don't understand. I definitely get what you're saying. Like, if you're going to wear weave, why not wear some kinky hair? Something that blend in with your natural hair. You know, but I'm seeing all these women walking around with 22 inch hair down their ass, going past their ass, damn near touching their ankles. And exactly. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Listen, I totally agree with you. And I'm so glad we having this open wounded ass conversation tonight because black women need to know what the fuck is hidden for. Don't nobody, yeah. don't know. I'm, and I just seen it in. A, I just seen this fly through the comments, and I want to say this because this is a real comment. I have never seen a nigga compliment a woman on her weed. And whoever put that in the comments, thank you because that's a beautiful point to bring up. Me as a nigga, I have never seen a nigga compliment. I have never. I've never been like, "Ooh, that's a nice ass 14, 14 B or whatever that shit called. Oh, that's a nice thirteen B Brazilian. What the fuck? I don't even know what that shit is. I'm not even looking at that shit. So my thing is, we, men, let me tell y'all something, right? Men are looking at two things. E even if you're a predator, even if you're an abuser, we all look at two things. We're looking at your, how you look physically, and we're looking at your level of confidence in yourself. Yeah. Because your level of confidence tells us, like a nigga like me, I'm a nurturer. But if I was toxic, then, my level of, then, then your level of confidence would tell me how much shit I could get away with. We're not, we not looking at your motherfucking weed. We looking at yeah. how much do you fuck with you? We looking at how much do you fuck with you? And we looking at how good do you look? That's what, them the two first things a nigga look at. And if you carry yourself like you fuck with you, that shit is like a a, a, a motherfucking a, a magic vessel and protector against bitch niggas. Because bitch niggas know they can't penetrate. So my thing is, we why do women keep trying to blame everything except for the fact that they think that, that the way they look is not sufficient enough, and this is why they wear motherfucking weaves and motherfucking um, wigs. And my thing is this, I'm going to say this too before I pass it back to you. Somebody in the comments said, what about cancer patients? Now here's my thing. What about them? Because I never said that cancer patients were unattractive. I never said that women with, sh with short hair are unattractive. So if you watch Black Panther and you think that them bald women are unattractive, that's on you. I never, I love them. I never said that. So my thing is this, a woman who said that in the comments, that's you projecting what you think to be unattractive on me and then trying to, trying to get me to come up with an excuse that's going to support your argument for why you wear the shit that you wear. I never said short hair was unattractive. If a, if a woman... If a woman got the ball, but she but she fire right here, and she fire yeah. right here, I bet you I'll date her. I bet you I would. I bet you I would. Let me let me give you an example, and I'm not I'm not being inappropriate, but let me give you an example of a fire female with a with okay. a short haircut right now. V uh V Bozeman on Instagram, fire right now. What if she got a short haircut? Nobody said you can't be fired because you got a short haircut, motherfucker. Mm. What are you talking about? She is fired, nigga. And she fired right here. So that's y'all females. And then y'all keep trying to throw that shit on us. But I'm going to pass it back to you before I go to the next person. I mean, to be honest with you, me being a female, I used to wear the, the weeds and I used to wear the makeup. And it's, be, it's really just a confidence thing. It's really a, a insecurity. I had to get to that point where I'm like, you know what? Fuck all that. I look good regardless. I look good with my dark spots, with my pimples. I, I, start, I stop fucking caring. It's, it's, it's like we basically trying to look a certain way for other people. We trying to look good for other people. We trying to look good for other women. We trying to look good for other men. 
But when you get to that that stage in your life where you like, man, fuck it, I look good regardless. I, I'm in the mirror every day saying how beautiful I look. I don't give exactly. a damn. And if and if I want to come outside and my hair ain't dead and maybe I just don't feel like wearing my hair out, I throw a scarf on. You know, that's just what right. I do. That's right. So. Listen. I honestly, honestly, it's just an insecurity. A lot of women will say, oh, no, I'm not insecure, but I, I know some pretty ass females that are very insecure. They they got to have people validate them and Don't they got to have the likes. They got to have the likes on Facebook. They got to have the likes on Instagram. Like, come on. Don't, you don't want to leave the house with no makeup on? You don't want to leave the house with no weave in your hair. You don't want to leave the house with no wig on. Like, really? That's because you caring too much about what other people have to say about you. And that's all that is. That's right. And with that being said, I'm glad you came on here and blessed us for the evening. Thank you very much. Thank you, YP. Thank you. You have a good one, sweetheart. You too. Peace. All right, now. Y'all stop playing with me. I'm bringing on... Uh... Asiana Leslie and then Ty Sweet and I want to bring you on next. So make sure you stay. Make sure you stay in the comments. Ty, Ty hey. Sweet, how you doing, sweetheart? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm all right. Um, my whole thing about the whole weed thing mm -hmm. is okay. Um, I I don't know. Okay, I'm a very on the go type of person and. Okay. I love to keep box braids in my hair because it's like throw them in, I just go. It's just more of a time thing for me. What? I can do I can do the I can do the box braids. I, I don't got a problem yeah. with box braids. Yeah, uh -huh. it's that's that's my whole thing. Like some women wear it for like a time thing. And that's kinda why I wear mine. Okay. So, yeah. So, I just want to add that sometimes it's not just about, you know, like, this or that, like, or about, um, I just want to wear it because I don't, it, it's just some, some girls are about time because I do a lot of stuff and it's just more convenient. I'm not ashamed about my, by my real hair or anything. I'll wear it, but just a time thing. Let me now. Let me ask you a question, cause you're a beautiful black goddess on here. So uh -huh. I have to I have to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that there are more natural alternatives that you could take that would that would be convenient, you know, yeah. for you in regards yeah. to what you do? Um. Yeah, but I don't know. For me, not really. Box braids are way more convenient. No, 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 no. I'm with, I'm with box braids. I'm talking about like like yeah. sewings or like that type of stuff. Well, see, I have a sewing now, so for that I can't speak about guilty for that one. I will say, get sewings are like a guilty pleasure to me. But yeah, sometimes I will get them. So yeah, listen to Egypt. I don't want nobody, even though we having a a uh, damn what's the goddamn word sensitive conversation. I don't, you ain't got to feel, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like, yeah, I ain't want that, but I'm just, my point is, I just want you to know that we don't love you because you, real niggas don't. I'm not, these yeah. fake ass niggas running around here, I can't speak on these, but I just want you to know, we don't love y'all because of what y'all put in y'all head. We, on y'all head, we love y'all because of what's in y'all head. So, you know, as a black woman, I wouldn't give a fuck if you wear lace fronts for the rest of your motherfucking life. I wouldn't give a fuck. I just want you to know that without that lace front, you are beautiful to me the way you think you are with that motherfucker yeah, on. Okay. That, that's my that's my point. My point is you don't gotta mm -hmm. go waste your motherfucking money to go put some shit in your hair because you think I think you look better that way. You could have mm -hmm. saved that motherfucking money and we could have bought some wine and popped some bottles and went <laughs> out and had motherfucking yeah. you ain't gotta be spending True. because realistically. I'm not gonna ask you how much how much you spend, but getting that hair done ain't cheap, is it? No, it's not. Exactly, <laughs> definitely not. not. That shit is not cheap. So you could be get, you could be getting your money. You could be that shit. Even though people think that's a little, yeah. that's a lot. That's that yeah. shit could be going to wherever else. So you are beautiful. Yeah. You got all the features I love: the nose, the lips. You try. You know, to me, like I said, if you. I'm gonna I'm gonna ride with you regardless, cause you you you, yeah. you my sister, God. But I'm gonna tell you straight up. 
I don't get, we don't give a fuck about that. That shit could stay right where the fuck it was at in aisle five. So my thing mm -hmm. is, you know, we, we, real niggas is fucking with you because it was right here. If a nigga is not fucking, with, if a nigga is not trying to honor and evolve mm -hmm. your, your mentality because they too caught up yeah. on, on you looking like how TV say you should look, spin that nigga off. But, um, you know, basically, like I, yeah, yeah spin it that nigga off. Like Basically, it's like even when I do take my weave out, listen, you gotta love them regardless. If you ain't, you ain't got, listen, what you ain't gotta put it in with me. You ain't gotta listen. put it in with me. You ain't gotta put it in yeah. with me. Yeah, but listen, I, I appreciate you coming on here. Shout out to you, yeah. goddess, and may you keep uh watching this, this live because it's hot right now. Thank you, and I'm gonna keep watching because I like everybody's opinion. I just That's had right. to throw that one out there because I hadn't seen it and I was like, it's just you know, convenient. But let me let me let me ask you this before you go. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the two white people that came on and said they never seen the other white women get their lace fronts done and what or get a weave? Like now, the reason I'm asking you that is because does that make you as a black woman feel like, well, why are we getting weaves if nobody else is getting weaves? Like what? Like when they said that, what went through your mind? Hmm. Like as far as the weave situation go with them. I just think like, hmm, how can I put this into words? Um, it's kind of like I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I just feel like, like I already said, like to each his own, you know. Like I right. feel like every individual has like their own. But as a black woman, it doesn't make me feel no type of way that they don't go do it because I kind of don't care what they do. Like it's your money, dude. Spend it how you want. So I don't know. I, I mean, I understand that. That's a, that's a beautiful answer. And um, yeah, have a good one, Queen. I appreciate you pulling up, and we love you. you. All right, love y'all too. All Bye. right now. Bye. All right now, I loved her. Let me pull up this Queen right here. Who was it? Ty some Ty Sweeten. Where you at? I loved her. I loved her. She could pull up on this live anytime. How you doing, sweetheart? What's good, YP? What's up with you? Hey, I just want to say, first, I appreciate you for uplifting her. Because I saw some people in the comments saying negative stuff about I her. Didn't, I didn't see who said it. I did. Like they were talking about her lips, calling her big worm and stuff like that. Y'all let me let y let me know who said that shit and, and screenshot they shit so I can block that. I bitch. know I who play said them. it. I don't know if he's still in here, but. See? Um, That's what I'm I talking wanna, about. I, I also want to speak on, she She was talking about the box braids. Now, those take time. I got a lot of hair back here, y'all. It take me two and three hours sometimes to do my hair. That is no excuse. That is no, is no excuse, no excuse, no excuse. My mama raised me to never wear a weave, y'all. So it be y'all mamas. Y'all start y'all babies early. Permanent hair. Permanent hair, not on. Look, I had the. I asked my mama, "Can I get a perm, y'all?" I asked her when I was like eleven or twelve. I used to get picked on for my skin and my hair. Do y'all hear me? For my skin and my hair, I Other asked her. She told me no. And one day she just gave in and said, "Whatever you want, Tiana." You feel me? I asked her that because kids made me feel bad. So it is an insecurity thing. Now. Now, let me ask you a question before you continue, because I've said this before in one of my videos in regard. I did a video called The Origins of Self-Hate in the Black Community where I spoke on this. But before you continue, let me ask you, were these white kids or black kids making fun black. of you? Black. They okay. were black. Black. That's my. Black. <laughs> they was black. I never got picked on by a white girl or a white boy. Only black. Black. Now, it was taught to them, though. I understand that because I'm here. My, my third eye open. It was taught to them kids at the end of the day, but the, I didn't know that as a little girl. I just thought they was being evil and mean. But at the end of the day, you got to be strong enough. And I'm grateful for my mama for this because you got to be strong enough on the inside and in the heart and in the spirit to love yourself. Y'all, I'm out here in my city. They hate me up here because I walk around like, this with my head up I don't be giving a fuck because at the end of the day I don't want to keep me going and that's on my that's on the universe that's on my ancestors I'm doing it out here for my city that's and right you gonna do it y'all like it's really not an excuse I be looking at these girls out here like why do you got 
a blonde that it looks foolish. It looks foolish. That hair y'all see in my profile picture, that's mine. My afro this big. That shit is beautiful. I don't care if it's 4C, 4B, and the other threes, the two. All of it is beautiful. Like, we just got to get back to ourselves. White, them white people that was on here, they know what's up. They might not go in like how we going in, but they see that shit. They see it. I'm going to tell you right now, them white, them white people that came on here, they they respect the platform. And they yeah. know that this is—they know that this is, it's a piranha tank too. If they say something crazy, but they kept it—they kept it real in the most Somebody respectable did manner call they her could. Big worm, I think that. Why? Why do? I, why would I fuck lie them, about fuck that? Fuck them! Fuck them! Fuck them! Fuck them! Comments keep flowing. <laughs> keep flowing. You gotta keep flowing. But yeah, though. So uh, another thing, all you gotta do is like, for example, I don't even wear makeup no more. I might put on some little mascara, but, like, even that is an issue with the black women. Like, it's all, like, I watch, I, when I have female friends, I don't now, but when I do, I watch them get ready. When we, as women, as we about to go out, we got, we talking about what's his name that's gonna be at the club, what's his name that's gonna be at the park, and we trying to look cute for them. We're not trying to do that shit for ourselves. That's just the pure truth, period. But any woman on here that's making excuse for time is a damn lie because I got hella hair back here. My shit down my back, and it take me time. It, it's a beautiful time, though, y'all. It feel good to stroke, run your fingers through your curls, whatever type it is. It feel good. Like, I'm trying to tell y'all, but I respect you, bruh, to the fullest, bruh. And shout out to Golden Beauty because she got her a real one. And that's on everything. Like, keep doing what you're doing, bro. Period. That's love. Period. I, listen, I'm with you. I'm riding with you. And I'm glad I, I'm, I'm glad that this is happening, you know. And I'm glad that, you know, I have the mentality that lets me touch on such a sensitive subject with our women, but in a in a, in a positive manner. And I'm glad you came on here and kept it all the way up. Yeah, they because... all in the comments. They all in denial. And it's okay because I love y'all. Like, y'all going to find... Just one day the uh, ancestor gonna come and tap you on your shoulder and that third eye gonna be like boop and I bet you won't wear a wig again. Yeah, and I bet your ass I bet your ass gonna stop I bet your ass gonna gonna stop looking fake and tell out you want a real one because a real one don't want one. Yeah, that, that shit like for the birds. Get in the gym. Listen, you know, any, shape body, you, let me say this. Let me say this. Soap. I'm finna bring Ayana X, I'm finna bring you on. Because I see All I right, see you've been peace, bringing it on. Peace, peace God. Love. Let me say this. Y'all females always talking about they want a real man. Real men think about shit like motherhood and fatherhood. Ain't no real man gonna date a woman that could institute weakness or insecurity in their kids. If you want a real, if you want a real black man, don't no black man want a black woman that's gonna that's gonna make th their offspring insecure about their black features. So if you out here running around with motherfucking brown wigs and blue motherfucking contacts and you think Christopher Columbus discovered America and all that, you and the and you you think that you're supposed to be approved because you got a fat ass? No, motherfucker. No. Only thing niggas gonna do is bust a nut off you. That's it. But you you, you if you think you about to be in somebody's house building a family structure and all that type of shit, use a dub because don't no real black man that want a black household, want a woman in there that's going to be weakening the motherfucking foundation because you want to look white, motherfucker. And I'm tired of keep saying this shit. Fuck you talking about it's an option. It's an option. Okay, we'll take your ass over there with them and be their option. I don't want that option. The fuck? The fuck? It's a lot of options. It, that don't mean it's an option for me. So if you think looking like a white person is okay and it's cute cool but then don't be out this motherfucker running around talking about well why it ain't no real we're the real men the real men don't want your ass because you show weakness how the fuck i'm be sitting here telling my daughter she a black queen and love her hair and you sitting on this motherfucker with a whole goddamn blind wig in your shit looking crazy how the fuck what the fuck kind of shit is that huh that's like you would you date a, a, a motherfucking homosexual if you wanted to raise your young son to be a strong black man? Where the fuck do they do that at? How you gonna date a nigga that's gay and you trying to have a strong black man's son? It don't work like that. 
So y'all y'all motherfuckers be killing me out here trying to have your cake and eat it too. You want to look fake, act fake, and, and motherfucking be everything but 100 in your appearance. But you want a nigga that's 100 to come and jack that shit. Get the fuck out of here. Nobody with that shit, man. Now let me pull on the one queen that wanted to come on. But I had to say that because y'all be wilding the fuck out. Feel me? That's just like a real woman. A real woman that's about her shit. A real woman that's 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 getting to the bag. A real woman that's educated. She don't want no nigga out here that's catching misdemeanors and felonies and go have the police running up in her shit. Cause that's bad for the foundation. This is why grown ass women don't date little boys. And this is why strong black men don't date motherfucking birds. What you talking about? You will never see Malcolm X date one of them motherfuckers off Love and Hip Hop. You would never see that ever in your motherfucking life. Would you see Kali Muhammad dating Cardi B? It don't go together. The fuck is y'all? Fuck is wrong with y'all? You want to look like Cardi B, but you want your nigga to be Malcolm X. <laughs> you better keep look, mate, motherfucker. You better call Rick and Morty, and maybe you might find that shit in the alternate universe, motherfucker. But not in this one. Fuck you talking about? Don't know real woman that want a solid foundation gonna date a street nigga because they know street niggas come with a motherfucking time limit. You only this relationship only gonna last to the point that this nigga dead or in jail. A, a real woman want a nigga that's going to be there, okay? A real woman don't want a rich nigga or a poor nigga. They want a present nigga. They want a mentally present nigga, an emotionally present nigga, a physically present nigga, motherfucker. So that's that's what's wrong with y'all. Y'all ain't never seen no real shit. Talking about you want a real motherfucker. Use a fake-ass nigga and use a fake-ass bitch, and y'all don't know what the fuck y'all want. Use a, use a temporary ass nigga and you want a permanent woman. And then a female, use a fake ass female and you want a real ass nigga. Get the fuck out of here, man. Better go cut that, better go cut NTV on or something with your motherfucking. Man, y'all be killing me, man. Y'all be killing me. Get the fuck out of here. And then y'all, and then y'all love fake so much, y'all make real motherfuckers feel insecure. That's why I don't feel bad about making y'all feel insecure. You know how many women with their natural hair cut the TV on and feel insecure because your busted, dirt, dusty ass want that motherfucking 40 inch around like it's no, it's time to make y'all motherfuckers feel it's time to let the it's time to let the real dark skin, real or I don't give a fuck if you light skin, whatever. It's time to it's time to let real women know that you the shit. And if you out here running around this motherfucker, if you can look like a tranny, then use a dub. If a man can look like you, use a dub. It's trannies out here that look like Cardi B. So how the fuck is she popping? Not only can another woman look like a woman, another man can look like a woman. So why the fuck would I be attracted to that? The fuck I'm attracted to that for? If a man can look like you, how the fuck I'm supposed to like you? I don't like niggas, and I don't like niggas that look like women. So what the fuck I'm going to look like? I'm going to like that fake ass shit for them. The fuck out of here. I like women that look like, look like you. Look like you. Let your shit be a little. Let this side of your hair be a little longer than this side. I'm with all of that. I'm with all of that shit. I'm with all of that shit. I'm not with that fake ass shit. Y'all motherfuckers crazy. Y'all motherfuckers want to live in Hollywood and Wakanda at the same time. It don't work like that, motherfucker. We do not do that here. <laughs> what he say in the movie? We do not do that here. Y'all motherfuckers want to live in Beverly Hills and you want to live in Wakanda. Where the fuck they do that at, man? Make your fucking mind up. If you want a real nigga or you want a real female, put yourself in a real motherfucking position. The fuck wrong with y'all? Y'all out here trying to keep up with the fantasy Joneses. The Joneses ain't even the Joneses. You trying to keep up with the Joneses and motherfucking, you want a real nigga. You don't even look like a real motherfucking person. I don't even know what the fuck you look like. I haven't, I don't even know, I don't even know what the fuck you look like. I don't even know what you look like. Titties fake, butt fake, hair fake, lips fake. Your accent fake. You don't even talk like that. You don't even talk like that. Um, and y'all better sit y'all asses down somewhere. Let me sit, let me put my charger in because I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring that queen on that one to come on. Where she at? She said she wanted to defend weed. I'm I'm back to being cool. I ain't going hard, but I had to get my little rant off because y'all had me fucked up for a minute. Wait a minute. Y'all had me fucked up for a minute. Hold up. I'm trying to plug my chat. There we go. All right, I'm charging. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Let me see. Let me find her. Bam. Okay, let me bring the queen on. Everybody be respectful. If I see you in this bitch, 
Wait. Let me turn my camera around. All right, sweetheart. Hold on. Let me get my disclaimer. If I see y'all in this motherfucker being out of pocket, I'm blocking your bitch ass. Okay? Don't we don't play them. They better not be out of pocket with me, Pharaoh. I did a wash and go on their ass today. What? 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 Okay. Left, right, left. Right. Listen, okay, so this is what I did. When I said I wanted to defend weaves, yes. I think I wanted to say I wanted to I'm happy that this is going that this is being said because I did this wash and go or something like that because I'm so I be doing retreats and stuff and like some of the girls that come like to Costa Rica, they they won't get in the water. They won't kayak. They won't do none of the wait, let me finish because these is my sisters now. I got to hold them down. But it and it threw me off because I done went in the water, you know what I'm saying? I done my little two little sealy braids, you know, I done took them a loose. So I'm like Jack Nap. You know what I'm saying? My shit done shriveled up. I'm 4C all day long. Ain't nah curl going on right here, but I did try a new product. But anyway, so, and they would not do none of the tours. And I'm like, okay, why y'all don't want to do none of the tours? We snorkeling, we under the water, you know. It's like four other white people with me. And they under the water, we kayak and we doing everything, we having fun. So when I got back to the circle, okay, we do circle time. I didn't know how to bring it up. But it just came out. Like the girl said, my ancestors just start talking to him. And I'm like, do y'all understand that? Y'all are missing out on a hell of an experience. Yes. And it's one thing to, it is a real reality to truly love yourself. Yes, Beyonce wears weave. Yes, all these different people wear weave and stuff like that. But you cannot make this your every moment. You're set. These Listen, y'all, and keep kicking me out. It's not me. I'm telling y'all that it's not me. And keep kicking me out. And keep kicking me out. It's not me. It's not me. It's not me, y'all. It's not me. And keep kicking me out. Let me bring her back in. It's not me, but I liked it where she was going. Let me see. When she come back in, please somebody tell her to jump into the joint. I'ma start I'ma start taking people out of the request next, but we're gonna keep it quick, y'all, because I gotta I ain't gonna be on here all night. It's not me. I'm finna bring her back. If y'all see her in the comments, let me know. I'm finna bring her back. If y'all see her in the comments, let me know. Yeah, she definitely was getting deep. Zen, okay, she here. I'm, I'm requesting. Okay, so and so what I was saying was I had to bring this 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 conversation up because I do want my sisters to understand one thing. Young Pharaoh's on here saying it the way that he's saying it, and it may offend some of y'all, but it is a whole lot of black women that we are throwing money away. We are throwing money away. We got a lot of work to do out here. And if and, and like a couple of the women said, even the, the Dominican and Puerto Rican chick, she was like, I just got tired of wearing it. And even the black chick, she was like, I got tired of wearing it. And I was like, F it. If they don't like me the way I am, that's that angry mentality. I'm not going to say angry, but that's that fed up mentality when it shouldn't even be like that. This is who you are. Look at yourself in the mirror. De-robe your, de yourself every single day that you can. Look at yourself every day as bare. Take your lashes off. Take them eyebrows off. If you don't have none no more, take take it all off and learn and how you start to love yourself. Because people won't tell you this. How you start to love yourself every day is to look at your bare self. When those girls got in the, I convinced them to get in the ocean with us to snorkel. They was holding on to their tracks and holding this and holding stuff down. And I'm like, baby, just let it go. You know what I'm saying? When they got out of the water, their makeup was off. And it was like, we got to get back to the room. We got, I'm going to need y'all to, we, 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 we all in nature. Now, this is a nature tour now. We're talking about a nature retreat. But everybody was, and so it was very, very um, healing to me to see some of them. They promised me that they would start wearing their natural hair. But but it is, I believe that it is a struggle, for young Pharaoh, for a lot of black women to take off their wigs and truly leave them off. Because even, you know what I'm saying, even like some of my friends, 
not really, you know, but I do have a couple of friends. Like when I went to Chicago, they was like, girl, what's wrong with your head? I said, what you mean? But I'm the, li I'm the life of the damn party. The niggas that's in the club, they over there talking to me. I ain't even gonna lie. They talking to me. We laughing our ass off. My homegirls and them over there frowned up, face full of makeup. I got on lips, lip gloss and some hoops. That's right. That's right. And even with braids, the stuff is damaging your hair. So he's, young ladies listening to me, he's bringing it in this way, but it's bothering him. And he may not know how to, because you did just go out. I'm going to need you to come down. But he did just have to go out. But it's because it's ridiculous and it's deeper than what y'all are hearing him say. So if, so, and he may not be able to verbalize how to start loving yourself because he loves himself. So he don't give a fuck. He go right here, cut all his hair off and walk around. I mean, it, he got it. But that's how you start doing it. And we did that in that retreat every day. Them women, they, they was dying to put them wigs on. And you know what's kill, you know what killing me too, sweetheart, not to cut you off, but you making such a fucking point that got so much substance. We will literally miss out on, like how many people could say they went snorkeling? Like I wish the yeah. motherfucker would take me snorkeling. Like snorkeling? Let's go. Like you y'all missing out on it's like for example females every female got that fantasy of i want a nigga to take me in the rain and kiss me in the rain that shit don't exist to y'all motherfuckers because you ain't trying to fuck <laughs> that hair so that's the, that skip that fantasy so it's just like y'all out there missing out on life experiences like snort and Damn. and you know one thing one thing you did say is true i ain't gonna hold it up because i know a lot of people probably want to jump on here and defend the weed but and i'm gonna say a few things but i can't count so let me just say this Listen, you it's a lot of asians right it's a lot of asians that's gonna be mad as a motherfucker right now but i need y'all to do that every day stand in the mirror take your lashes off wipe your eyebrows off let your hair out and see can you figure out how to wear your hair it's all kind of foresee because i I've got some tight ass girls. I got sisters and homegirls who got beauty. They do a little wash and go. They shit pop it. But I've learned and they've and now that my hair is thick, the thicker your hair, the fuller the the tighter your coils, the thicker your hair, the longer you keep your damn hair on your head. Did you know that? And so because a lot of my homegirls now that we getting older, they shit going on ahead and starting to thin. See that little curly mixed hair stuff? They that's cute and all that stuff, but you gotta look deeper into what beauty is. And I'm not just saying that to be funny, but we're you're missing the point. You have beautiful hair. Train your hair. Cause I go to work like this. I bars none. I go to work like this. And my boss should be like, okay, she call me Lauren Hill. They love it. So you missing the point. You gotta get in the mirror and say to yourself, I love myself. That's right. You really you really do. And and young Phil, you gotta be a little bit more uh nah, I need you I mean. not Listen. but now nah, because now nah. nah. and so but but I did like how you just went off, but not really, but I love it for the fact that I want them people to stop Listen, getting our money out of our I'm, purse the like that. that. I'm so passionate is for one, is cause this is how I am. And then for two the it's like I don't believe in being weak when you got to be strong. Like, for example, you don't build Marines by saying, can you please climb that rope? You got to be like, get your ass over that rope, nigga. Like, you know what I'm right. saying? My motherfuckers in the gym don't be like, come on, hit the pad. They be like, nigga, hit that pad. So when it comes to women, we have damn near, we're going on almost a thousand years of black women being insecure. We not at a motherfucking time because it's my one ass voice versus the TV, rap videos, Right. So I got to scream. I got to scream so much right. that when this shit come on TV, my voice is coming right behind it. Like, no, nah, young girl did say I need to be. So I got to I gotta yell this shit into the souls of whoever watching for them to know that is not. But I'm going to tell you this. I'm very proud of my sisters that have cut their hair, cut them perms off their hair and taken all the weave out of their hair and stuff. And who's standing up for who they are because the more they do that, the more confident they become. And people of a different culture right now, believe it or not, they scrambling because they stores is full of nothing but stuff on the st on the shelves and and full of hair hanging. And so now it, it used to be hush, hush, who could get a hold to weed 
back when I had a beauty supply store 10 years ago or so. But now, shit, you got Alibaba and every damn body else trying to give you, you can buy a pack of weed for $19 because they want to make it cheap enough for y'all to buy it. And it's damaging you. It goes deeper than just patting your head and smacking. If it's damaging where you got to be patting your head, then you start feeling the burning. Yeah. Hey, you know something's going on. So you got to you gotta love yourself enough to say, you know what, enough is enough. And not even get angry about it. Because it's not an issue where we trying to where we want to be angry. We already depicted as an angry black woman, and that's cool. Cause I snap too. But snap about something that's gonna make sense, like making your business grow or your children, getting them homeschooled. It goes deeper and deeper and deeper. It's a lot of learning and training that we got to do. But if these women keep having babies as young as they having them, these mamas and babies is listening to the same Cardi B music. That's right. So ain't nobody learning no lesson. It's no lesson being taught. Who going to teach the lesson? So this is where young Pharaoh's uh, probably aggravation is coming from, if I could speak for you. And I'm proud of you, That's brother. Right. But um, I, I'm I'm thankful that you was able to bring me on. And, um, but yeah, take it easy on them. See, can you get now, next thing, they need to take that makeup off and whatnot. And then you just... Go on, do challenges and stuff like that. And that's how you, because you a man, a woman is going to look up to a man. You know what I'm saying? Especially a real man, you're going to, we're going to look up to you. And so don't, don't do it in a way where they're going to come back firing back. And that's why, that's why, that's why, that's why I'm big, hurt. that's why I'm big on the, the women I surround myself with. Like, I don't try to surround myself around people that look like fucking, like, if you gorgeous, you gorgeous. But I got a standard. It got to be realistic. All that extra shit, I'm not with none of that. Like, I'm not with none of that. I don't even, I don't, like, like I'm a type of dude, you can have no followers. If you come down my timeline and you and you look normal, I'm going to like your, I know probably people are like, oh, shit, young girl, just like my fault. Like, I be, I make sure that I do, the, if I'm in public and I see a woman that got her natural hair, even if she were a nigga, I say, yo, bro, no disrespect. Could I tell your woman I like her hair? I like her. Like, I'll let you know because, it just got to be reinforced. But my thing is, you know, it, it, it's going to be up to y'all because we follow y'all. I know you say men look up to, to women look up to us. We look up to y'all, man. That shit is a big But at, I mean, as your opinion, for your opinion, because oh, okay. my dude would tell me in a minute, for instance, if I'm like, dang, baby, we can go where to the movie. Let me throw a scarf on him. be like, girl, leave that scarf. He don't care nothing about that. He don't care nothing about it. I mean, my hair could be standing up on my head, pig and toe. He could care less. He don't want no scarf on it. It is what it is. He loves you for you. And until you recognize who you are, you won't have a real one. Because like you said, them do them jack boys, they time is all limited. And they know that. So they just going to fuck your weave off your head and, and do whatever they got to do. And that's cool for them. But that's not what you really want. And then the trend just goes on and on. But. I'm going to jump off. Y'all be good. And um, just do some challenges, though, King. Okay? Do some challenges. Like, okay, I'm going to bring some women on with no makeup. I'm going to bring some black well, women on. You I, know, I, I in your spare I, time. I a challenge, according to this song that I made, where women could either, either dance or look naturally beautiful called the She a Natural Challenge. And so many women was DMing me saying they, they scared to do it because they, they wear weed. So that's the challenge still. They be scared. Man. So y'all asses. They be okay, scared. Y'all do, she she do it. Get yeah. y'all some. Go on YouTube and do y'all some natural hair. Cause some of us got some nappy. I got some nappy ass hair. I'm talking about the cane. You take a pick and then you need a comb and the other thing, the, the, the denim brush and all that to get through it. But at the end of the day, it's still all love and beauty. Let your hair down. Love yourself and just let it go. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That's right. Listen, I appreciate. I love y'all. I appreciate you coming on. And um, I, I right. enjoyed everything you had to say, and may you enjoy your evening. Okay, I don't want them Asians to be on your ass, but <laughs> I might be worried. Be worried. I'm not worried about nobody or nothing. Your little ass, crazy. Okay, y'all, love y'all. Right, See yourself. you later, King. Peace, sweetheart. Bye, bye. Okay, now I loved her. Who else want? Let me go on my. Let me go on my. Uh... Shout out to whoever that guy that says Toggy in my comments says she make her own natural hair product. Y'all go check her out, man. We're gonna support, we're gonna support our we're gonna support each other. Let me see who else pulling up. Let me see who else need to pull up. I'm in my request. Now now listen, if I pull you out of my request, we're not gonna be that long. Uh if I see you in my request, um, I'm going down in the order that I see. So please don't think I'm skipping you. If you've been in here for a long ass time or some shit like that, you know what I mean? Uh, it's not it's not on me. I'm going down the line. How you doing, sweetheart? 
Hey, what's going on? How you doing? I'm okay. So as you hey. know, I'm, I'm now reaching into my request and uh, pulling up some of the family that's in there. I see that you're in there and you know you got the floor. Yeah. Well, you know, I've been, this is the thing. I've been a hairdresser for 14 years, okay? And I'm currently transitioning from that profession because I see what happens. I see it firsthand. There's so many insecurities. And like, since I had an awakening experience, I don't have the heart to make my living off of the mindset how these women are. I feel like I'm really, you know, doing a disservice. And I'm being honest. I fucking hate what I do for a living right now. But I have two sons without kids. I'm a single mom. So I'm doing it. But I'm transitioning into other things that serve my life purpose. You know what I'm saying? That's and, right. And the thing is, like, with my, and I'm, I'm in Chicago. And look, my mom, I, when I was a kid, I had a curl and all of that. And, and all of that. And, um, and relaxers. And it took my hair out. And, my mom, she never did like that shit. She just felt like, because she was a school teacher, she always said that she felt like it was inappropriate, you know, it was just something that was forced upon us. So when my mom apologized to us back in 2007, me and my big sister, she said, I'm sorry for ever putting that in y'all hair. I'm not perming my hair no more. So we all stopped perming our hair. We grew our relaxes out together. And after that, you know, my mom, she passed away in April, but she had locks. You know what I'm saying? We ended up all, like me and my mom, we locked our hair and everything, you know. And, um, and I'm just saying, like, it, it was just a lot of big insecurities, a lot of things like women talk about, you know, they don't even want to wear their real hair. And then I try to talk them out of, uh, I already got most of them out of relaxers, but then they, they don't want to uh, wear their real hair. Then they're complaining about, uh, you know, it's coming out, but you don't want to take the weave out. You know what I mean? Oh, I don't care about this hair up under here. Or they say negative comments like, oh, uh, she got that good hair. I don't got no good hair. And I be telling them, like, everybody hair is good. What do you mean? You know what right. I'm saying? It's like, it's driving me crazy. So, you're right. You're not on the. You're you're on the money. You write it with you, about what you're saying, and this ain't even about you trying to be judgmental. This is a fact, and we need to realize that. Yes, it it was a whole. It was systemic. It's systemic, and we just have to be just embrace that. Let's just be real. Even if you're walking around with weeds and stuff, let's stop being. Let's let's let me let me, ask you, let, me ask you, let me ask you a question, and I love you by the way. Let me say that. Let me ask you a question. Because since you were in the profession for over a decade, I can ask yes. you this question because you're qualified to answer it. Right. Women say that they wear weaves and sew-ins for protective styles. Would you say that this shit has been more damaging to their hair or protective? It's been more damaging. Let me tell you, I tell I tell these clients all the time. I had a client right now, she just stopped putting the weave in her hair and started wearing because she have a lot of thick, beautiful hair. And imagine she would go to like different hairdressers and stuff and then come back to me to nurture her natural hair. And she was like, my hair is standing out, my hair is standing out. I said, because do you know that that needle and thread is cut, maybe small little cuts through your strands. That's why when you take out a sew-in, all that shit shedding, that like hair sheds naturally over 100, 150 strands a day anyway. But right. when you... um. But when you cut that, that thread is cutting through your braids. It's cutting through your hair. That's why your hair is thinning out. You know what I mean? And I, and and you know, and like I said, that's why I'm like, I'm really, I'm really fed up with the profession, and I am getting out as fast as I fucking can because I see what's happening firsthand. And like, I don't care what people say, projective hairstyle, they can say what they want to say, but I'm telling you firsthand, I see the shit, and th it is a fucking problem. It's a real problem, and that's just that's just how I feel about it. You know what I mean? I I. I can't, and I understand exactly where my mom would come from, and like I'm gonna honor her by getting up out of this shit. And it, it, it only thing I'm already transitioning to doing just locks and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So it's like it's a different vibe now that I'm getting more natural clients. But yeah, it, this shit is it's damaging. And then the sew ins and all that, even them braids and the crochets, they tear their fucking edges out. This is where traction alopecia comes from. This is where traction alopecia comes from. And then now you ain't got no choice, but you want to throw a wig on because you done let that shit get all your edges out. And then you got the people that want to get sew ins and slap perm on their edges. So my edges got to be like, oh, what, what the fuck? I ain't ever had a baby hair there in my damn life. And I, and I, and I be behind the chair. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't understand it. That's why I was like, you know, if they don't got no natural hair, natural hair, I'm not straightening no hair no more. If you ain't, if you ain't going to just have like locks and wear your hair in a natural state or something like that, that's it. I'm already pushing them clients out because I can't, I can't do that to my sisters. I can't, we are beautiful. And we need to realize that we are all fucking beautiful. Every last one of the clients I have, they are beautiful, but I want them to know that, you know what I mean? And they know how I am about that. They know, they be on me because I'm a vegan. I done lost like almost a hundred pounds and shit. So they, you know what I'm saying? So 
they they see me, you know what I'm saying? And I'm glad yeah. that I'm getting the people to change around, you know what I'm saying? But we we got to do better. And like like I I appreciate everybody's opinion that was on here, and I appreciate what you're saying because you know there's another uh guy uh Pharaoh said that the elder. He made a video about this too, and I agree. He made a video about this, like a live on YouTube, and I was agreeing with him, like, yes, absolutely. You know, he from Chicago, I'm from Chicago, so it's just like it's it's a real fucking problem, and it's like y'all are talking out of love. Y'all just love us. Y'all, I don't feel like you condemn it. We, you know, what I'm saying all that, acting like we condemn it. Yeah, and it's a problem. Yeah, and it's and the men that's being has it's men that's been affected too. That that's been and, and I feel, and too, I feel, you know. Yeah, and I feel to, to chime in. Um, you motherfucking, not you, but, you know, black women, period. Y'all, you motherfucking right, I'm going to say something, because I want to date you, motherfucker. Exactly. I want your edges to be there after four years of being with your ass. I, yeah. I don't want I don't want to be dating with you, and you are digressing in your beauty because of a fucking style. That's why I be telling motherfuckers, would you date me if I was just getting skinny and skinny and skinny and not right. eating, and then I got anorexic, and then I told yeah. you, well, it's a, it's an option. Eating food is an option. Like, yeah, exactly. motherfucker, but you need to eat the fuck. So it's just like, yeah. ooh, if you women are literally destroying themselves in yeah. regards to the standard of beauty that they're trying to live artificially according to, and then they're yeah. trying to argue with us about having a problem with that. That's the exactly. craziest shit in the world. It's like if you come in right. the house and I'm shooting fucking heroin and I'm getting skinny and skinny and I'm stealing shit, and then I tell you, well, it's a choice. Like, yeah, it's a choice. But you don't have to subscribe to that. It's like, exactly. how, are you, how are you asking me to stand by you, not just strongly, but loyally, and you not standing by you? And exactly. it's like, God damn. It's like, what the fuck, man? If you don't understand that every time you go to the hairdresser, your shit is less than yep. what? And it's like, dude. Yep. I have cousins and sisters. Y'all act like I didn't grow up around female. I got cousins and sisters who I watch they shit thin out, fall out, patch out, perm out, all because they won't stop wearing fucking yep. weave, lacings, and sew-ins. And then it's like y'all. Exactly. And then it's like when I break y'all down with the, everything you just literally said. I did a, I did a, I did one podcast and I did three videos on my YouTube channel about weave. Everything mm -hmm. you just said, I literally said it. But it's like, nobody want to hear the shit. So now, yeah. coming from a beautician, you know, I hope that this shit click. Because it's like, you might have yeah. just started now and it's cute. But you got about a good six to eight months before you start seeing the effects of that motherfucking sewing. You got yep. about six to eight months until that shit starts slowly but yep. surely coming out. Them edges start slowly. And then you're going to destroy yourself. Yep. And then you're going to try to guilt trip me into being attracted to something that I'm not attracted to. Yep. Yeah, and you, so and you're right. Cause it's like, I had, I remember one time I, I actually had a relationship with a guy who had locks and I didn't have locks at the time. I, this was a long time ago and I was wearing weeds and all of that. And when I, I told him that I always wanted locks, he told me, Oh, don't get that. And I was just like, are you serious? Like, but what? you got him. And you got them, you know. And you know me and my sons. I, I'm, a, you know, all three my whole my little whole little tribe. We all got locks up in here. You know right. what I'm saying? And it's like, and it, I knew that shit wasn't gonna work out. I just, I'm just not gonna deal with somebody. You know what I mean? Maybe it's the fire in me or something like that. But as a Leo, I ain't let nobody tell me what the fuck I, what, what's gonna look right on me. You know what I mean? That's right. But it's just like that's how I know. I'm like, damn, it's 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 not just women. It's like women, you understand that? You know. It, it, you know, ain't nobody trying to beat up on y'all. We trying to tell y'all, y'all all right. Like, I don't even wear makeup. Look, I wore makeup briefly when I was heavy. At my heaviest, I was 250 pounds. And I felt, didn't feel pretty. And that's why I was wearing it. But I stopped wearing that shit. I don't even wear that. Only thing you'll catch me with is some red lipstick. But I have symbolism with colors. But only only red lipstick. But other than that, I don't wear no makeup on my face. I feel better because, like, the way I eat and the, I exercise, I run it every other day. I'm a yoga instructor now. And it's like, I take good care of myself so I feel beautiful. So when you take good care of yourself on the inside, you're going to feel better anyway. And you so don't feel like you don't feel like you're missing something, so you need to ask Exactly. Something. That's exactly. why I tell people, it's fucking marketing. The only way somebody yeah. can sell you something is if they feel like, is if they convince you, you need it. The only way somebody yes. can sell you a coat is if they convince you it's cold out where you're at. The only yep. way somebody can sell you a beauty product is if they convince you that you're not beautiful enough without it. 
Exactly. That's fucking yep. marketing one on one. What the fuck? That's yep. like a nigga that what the fuck, man? So you you that's and I'm Farrell, so that's why I don't fucking watch. I ain't I stopped like I knew I was awake at the time I didn't know I was waking up. I didn't know what was happening, but I know because I used to watch love and hip hop and all them shows and all that. And then after a while I was just like, that, that shit is sick. This is sickening. Why am I watching this shit? You know what I'm saying? I stopped watching all that because and then it's like it's like and I stopped watching television, period, now because I can't stomach the advertisements and all of that. But it's just like we have to, that's the problem. We got to surround ourselves. And when you become yourself and you're who you really are, your whole environment going to change. You're going to be around different people. You know what I mean? That's going to be, you're going to attract people that's more in your vibration. So don't be scared to step out there. Don't be scared because your peers are going to say something about you or talk about you and all like that. Because guess what? They ain't your fucking friends if they're going to talk about your hair. And that nigga don't love you if he's going to talk about your hair in a negative way. You need, that means you need to leave his ass alone. That nigga I got got divorced. That's, that's I divorced my, my problem, baby. I don't have a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm right. just saying, you have to, it's okay. You will be okay. It, you will be okay. You're going to attract a nice person towards you. Because I definitely did. And he got locks too. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, you will attract, your vibes attract your trash. So if you if you feel, if you uh, don't, don't do that shit and feel like, uh, you know, that's the way it got to be or something like that. Or you, and I know people be in their heart. That's why they're so triggered. That cognitive dissonance kick in and they get triggered because they know that shit right. That, that spirit kicking in and, they, and that, and that, uh, that subconscious know it's right. And then that conscious man, you know, that, 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 uh, man, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. They kick in and then they just fighting against it because that, that physical body is so used to doing a certain thing and they mad and they get irritated because that shit right and it resonates with them. That's what it is. That's right. Exactly. Listen, yeah. I appreciate you coming in this month. Okay, yeah. And um, listen, man, this has been such a beautiful live stream for everybody. If yeah. you came in later and missed it, don't worry, because I'm putting this shit right on YouTube. I don't give a fuck about none of that. This shit yeah, going right on, on YouTube. There. Yeah, because this needs to be, this don't need to be in, in the Lost Archives. This shit needs to nope. be at the front of the library. So, y'all you know I mean, this shit going on YouTube. Uh, I appreciate you pulling up, Goddess. All you right. Know, enjoy your evening. And I want to say to you, much love, not only in the inner strength that you possess, but in the evolution of yourself. Yeah. Um, in the work that you put in with yourself, because those are the things we need to honor. Not not what a motherfucker is driving or that right. damn shit. We need to we need to honor how somebody's striving. Yeah. And so you know, I want to let you know I appreciate you. I love you. Much Thank love you. to you and your family. Thank you for pulling up. And yeah. I'm I'm going to be by your side at all times. Oh, absolutely. You got my support, 100%. Absolutely. Peace all and right love. Now. All right, Much everybody. Love. All Peace. right. Okay, now, let me see who else I'm going to pull up. If y'all feel like I'm being biased and I'm pulling up a lot of females, it's because I am. I need females' opinions on this. I'm going down the list in my request, Okay. If I don't get to you, it's not it's not on me. I'm going down the list. Okay? Okay? I'm going down the list. I'm going to try oh. not to be too long. Peace. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I didn't even know mine was on me. You all right? Hello. You all right? How you doing, sweetheart? I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. That quilt was beautiful. I know my hair is kind of, you know, down right now. I just put you it down. It's a long day. Uh, but I absolutely respect what she was saying about, you know, I never wear wigs, so I, I really don't know how it feels to wear a wig or anything like that. Uh, but I do get a lot of comments like, oh, you have a nice hair. Like, is that your real hair? And the crazy part is like, it's from black, from black people, like from my people asking me if this, my hair is my hair. Right. And, um. Uh, when I wear a curl, you know, they always ask, oh, are you mixed with something? Are you, are you, I'm African. I'm fully right. African. I'm Ethiopian. My mom Jesus. Ethiopian, my dad Ethiopian. So I'm African. I'm black. Right. So I'm not mixed with nothing. But it's just so sad that a lot of people, you know, don't appreciate the natural beauty, the hair. Like my parents, well, my mom, my sisters, none of them wear anything. But their real hair, even though we are Muslim, yeah, they cover up. But at the end of the day, even though under the scarf, under the turban, they still wear their natural hair. It's just as sad that we can't show our beauty. And, you know, I talk to my king all the time, and he, he has dealt with people that wear wig before, and he really, truly appreciate my natural hair that I can wear in a different way. 
I can wear a curl, I can wear it straight, I can pull it back, any kind of way. So I just hope everybody do really appreciate their hair and they just start wearing their own hair. Uh, listen, I appreciate that and I love every word that you spoke. Uh, and I'm glad that you came on here and made a point uh, whether you realize or whether you did it consciously or not. And that point is that we don't expect ourselves to have such a standard of beauty so high in the area of hair that women even question other women. Is that your real hair? Or or another thing they say is what you mix with. And the fact that motherfuckers ask questions like that proves once again that y'all be wearing weaves and shit and getting your hair done to look outside of what you think black people's standards of beauty are. Because if you felt that black people were beautiful naturally, you wouldn't even be questioning motherfuckers what you mix with. Or is that your real hair? Yeah, that means you don't even expect a black woman to be naturally beautiful. You don't even expect her hair to be naturally long. You feel me? Like you said, you Ethiopian. Now, if I tell if I, now I'm not putting it on you, but if I was to tell a motherfucker, Oh, what my God is Ethiopian. The first thing they would have thought of is a dark skin, curly hair. Well, they would have never thought your shit was. So it's just like y'all niggas is y'all motherfuckers is racist. Y'all motherfuckers, right. y'all everything that y'all blame white people for doing. That's because you be doing that shit to yourself. Y'all always be talking about self hate. Y'all be in high school ribbing on each other. Wasn't no white people in high school. Call the niggas nappy head, black. Is, listen, the first, like I say, I'm gonna let you go after this. The first person I ever caught her, somebody called the nigga black as hell, was a female. I got a friend named Dooner. And hmm. when we was in sixth or seventh grade, females used to always be like, shut your black ass up. Shut your crispy ass up. You feel what I'm saying? Like, wasn't uh -huh. no white women. So like, we, we was doing that shit to each other when we was kids. So it's like, man, y'all niggas got, you know, in the, in the words of General Teddy, y'all niggas have crackatosis and niggeritis. And you niggas need to go to the motherfucker. You at the doctor. You in the right motherfucking place. But Right. Uh, but, you know, I also do have uh, family members that they feel like their hair, it's not pretty enough or it's not soft enough or they have to, like, strain it and perm it. And it's so sad because my, actually, my youngest sister is 14 years old and I moved, I live in the South, but my, my family live up north. And when I got back home, when I left, my little sister had her hair all the way, all the way to her back. When I got home, her hair was all the way up here. I asked her what happened. And she told me, oh, mom took me to a, uh, this Ethiopian salon and they permed her hair. Permed her hair. That's crazy. Insane. Permed her hair. And now it's like, I told her, well, guess what? I'm going to cut all the way down and let your hair grow right back up. Because that's just so sad that you want her hair to be, it was thick. It was a lot of hair. And you're being lazy of taking care of the hair. Now you want her to lose all the hair that she has. So you can just have it so short, which is, it makes me really sad. It makes me really sad. And there's a lot of self-hate, not only in the black community in America, but just in Africa as well. Actually, in Ethiopian community as well. In East African community, actually. Uh, there's a lot of self-hate. Dark skin, you know, the hair, how the nose. Like, uh, I used to get picked about my nose. Oh, you have a big nose. You have a nose like a, a black person. Okay, what am I? What am I? Well, what's the black person different? Uh, which is, that makes me really, really sad about how they think the black American in America is different than the black Africans. You well, know? niggas have Krakatosis. And um, I really have no other diagnosis, you know, other than that. And, I, and I'm just glad that we having this live because hopefully this live strikes a chord you know, I've been on here probably like how many? I've been on here for at least some hours. So, hopefully, out of all of the people that's come on, from the you know the beauticians, the two white people I had come on, and you know just everybody that's come on, hopefully something strike a chord in black women that at the end of the day lets them know real niggas like you the way you motherfucking look. We don't like the motherfucking the accessories. We not dating exactly. you for accessories. 
we we dating you for you. It's like if I come to your house, I don't want to play your game because you got a nice controller, nigga. As long as you got a controller, we gonna play this motherfucker. So, you know, I need for women to understand that shit and stop letting bitch niggas and bitch nigga TV convince you. You know what I'm saying that. That you need an accessory or you need some in addition to yourself to be at a peak of of, of of eye standard. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it is what it is. But um, I appreciate you pulling up, Goddess. You know, much love to you. And may you continue watching as I get ready to end this. Thank you. I appreciate you, too. All right, now. Peace. All right, let me see. All right, I'm going to do it any, mini mighty mo because I got two people in here. Listen, listen, y'all, I will bring three people in here. Oh, shit, I almost knocked my goddamn shit over. I will bring three people in here, but y'all got to y'all gotta keep it quick because I'm tired. I ain't going to hold you up. I'm going to bring IMZ Empress in here. I'm going to bring Jone in here with a whole lot of ease, and I'm going to bring Blessing Barely in here. Okay? So y'all got to keep it quick. That I'm tired now. I'm tired now. Now what was that? What's up? <laughs> what? Like, what? <laughs> what? What? Who? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you put it up. You put it up. Right. But but no. But listen though, I wear we too. But listen, I don't got to. I'm not codependent on it. You feel me? I might want to switch it up or something. You know what I'm saying? I don't got nothing against nobody to each his own. But I grew up, I always had hair. I used to have, they used to call me Pocahontas. I had long ass hair. But I used to get bullied for having long hair. I used to have to fight because I had long hair. You feel me? But so I didn't really go through things that other girls had to go through. You know what I'm saying? As far as like not hating my hair and stuff. I never hated myself or hated my hair or anything like that, even though I got teased. But I guess, you know, it was a good idea for you to do this live because listening to other women of color expressing their views on it, basically how it affected, I think it's funny. It's it's sad but funny that People really is that serious. Like they can't leave the house. They won't get in the war. Like to me, that's very laughable. Like what is that serious? Like people cry because they ain't got their hair did or if somebody see them without a weave on. That's like ridiculous to me. And it's sad that that actually exists, that that shit actually happens. Like it's not to me. It's not that weave is not that serious to me. It's like the commitment is terrible. Like, why? Like, why is it that fucking serious? I know right. because of programming, but it's just, it's sad, but I understand why you're doing this. Like, I get it. Trust me. I'm pro natural. You know what I'm saying? Myself, I've been, I cut all my hair off and started back over. I got dressed, cut that shit off again. The shit gonna grow back. Like, your hair can grow back. Your edges will fall. You can grow that shit back. I done been there, done that. You That's right. Me? I done been through this journey plenty of times. You know, but I love my hair. If I, I can go to the motherfucking store mall, it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? It really doesn't matter. You just got to love yourself. And I understand the goal is to love yourself, period. And you're right. You know, niggas do love, you know, a woman in her natural state. It's true. Niggas do. They appreciate what kings, what up. You feel me? But I, I get it. I get it, Pharaoh. So I That's applaud right. you on this. I applaud you on this. I I, listen, I I appreciate it, and I got a method to my madness. I know how to store the hornet, stir the hornet's nest to get the hornet. So my thing was, I knew, let me come on here and talk about weave, so all these motherfuckers will come in here and be ready to get it popping. But they didn't know that it was gonna be real, real like that. Yeah. So you know, that's my thing, man. Cause I like I ain't, I'm not new when it comes to women. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not new. Like I didn't talk to women in my past where I literally like will be FaceTiming, or excuse me, it wasn't called FaceTime back then. I'd be video chatting the motherfucking ceiling. 
because you can't be on camera because I can't see you because your hair not done. Like, it's been like, niggas know I'm not lying, man. Like, Nick, y'all niggas, it's a, nigga, crazy, it's a nigga in these comments going through that right now. Like, you call the fuck motherfucking see, it could be your girl or whoever. You call her and you talking to the motherfucking ceiling because the phone down like this because she don't want to motherfucking be seen without her motherfucking hair done, man. Like, come on, man. Come on, dog. Y'all know I'm not making this shit up, dog. Niggas go through this shit every day. Like, how well, stupid, listen, do, how stupid do you no need to feel talking feeling. to the wall? To wake up, you know what I'm saying? I woke up like this, you feel me? There's no better right. feeling. You know, I don't have to put on a mask. I wear makeup, too, when I feel like it. You know, but I wear bare minerals, you know what I'm saying? Natural shit. But I'm just saying, like, I woke up like this, and it feels good. Like, I don't have to try hard. You know what I'm saying? Because I got here. I don't have to depend on a wig. If I want to wear it, okay, whatever. But it's, I got here underneath it. And that was always my fear. Like, I don't want to depend on that shit. I've been natural, basically. You know what I'm saying? My whole life. I didn't start wearing, like, weave until I was 18. And that was because you know, my peers, like, kind of, like, peer pressured me into it. Because I used to be like, hell, no, I ain't wearing that shit. I wouldn't even wear braids. None of that shit. I was like, no, ew, that was foreign to me. But, yeah, you know, you grow up adolescent. You want to, you know, fit in or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You test the waters. But, really, she was jealous of me because I didn't need it, and she did. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, and it's, it's a lot of women going through that, adolescents going through that. But be you. That's they right. Gonna, they gonna love it regardless. It's like you either gonna take me as I am or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm not my hair, blah blah blah. Um, how I grew up, never cut your hair. You know what I'm saying? I I didn't grow up with perms in my head. I put a perm in my head. I thought I was when I got older and I started doing my own damn hair. I used to just straighten it. You know what I'm saying? With a straighten comb. It took hours. I got tired of fucking straightening comb my hair. But I went and dare. I have a daughter. Now she's one. I went and dare put a perm in my daughter's hair. I would never put a perm in my daughter's hair. My daughter will be natural forever. Like with me. Like, bitch. I wish you would put a goddamn bring a perm a just for me. A, what? No. I be damn. You better love you. You don't need that shit. Like That's right. you don't, you really don't need that shit. Like you're beautiful. Accept yourself. Like it's the TV, it's the social social media is the worst thing that ever happened to our community. Period. And reality TV as well. But that's why everybody all brainwashed and shit. But damn, but I was blown like with the lady that do hair and shit. I was like, damn, she wanna quit her career because of that shit. Like it must be like really fucking serious. Yeah, I guess crazy. I was just oblivious to that part you know what i'm saying no that's a fact that's that's crazy listen i'm a i'm before i go i want to let whoever put that comment in there know i've seen it and i'm gonna put that in there because i think that's a good topic as far as sh you know should what do men think about women shaving like basically should a woman wax her vagina or not now i think that this is a good topic listen i think this is a good topic because mm. me personally i feel like I don't really hold women to that standard because I feel like a pedophile or somebody created that. Like I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't want my woman to look like a like. I want to know I'm with a grown ass woman. I don't want to. Mm -hmm. I don't want to look like I'm. I don't want to feel like I'm dating a fucking sixteen year old. And a lot of y'all niggas be weirdos, and y'all niggas like girls that look like. For example, if a female got on like some Jordans. In a baby fat jacket. I'm going the other way. Because you 17 in my motherfucking mind. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I want to have that topic. I really want to have that discussion. Because I'm not even really talking about what women prefer. I'm talking about niggas. Because a lot of niggas be weirdos. And they want their females to express. It's kind of like it's kind of like foreplay. Like, it's kind of like a nigga, a nigga might have a thing for nurses. So a nigga wants you to dress up like a nurse. So it's mm -hmm. like some of y'all niggas be pedo pedophiles on the low. And that's why y'all like dating little girl minded ass females or or women that like for example, I don't like women that dress like little girls. Like mm -hmm. I like women that dress like women. Like if you could put on a business suit or you could put on a dress, that's fire to me. Like that's mm -hmm. fire. Don't come in this motherfucker with no motherfucking uh what's the name? Don't come in this bitch with no motherfucking 
jeans on, a Jordan and a motherfucking North Face, because I feel like I'm in high school again. Now, I'm not knocking nobody dress code. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to make nobody feel insecure. But mm -hmm. there's a transitioning stage. Mm -hmm. I don't dress now how I used to dress when I was 17. I don't wear bandanas. And Could you imagine if I was on this motherfucker with a bandana? Some motherfucker. That's so whack to me. Okay. Like, yeah, so my thing is, is I, I want to have that conversation and go down the list because it's a lot of shit that niggas, that niggas, I feel, look for that 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 kind of give off a signal of a certain mentality. If that may, if I'm saying it right, I feel like it'll come out. Real right. niggas don't care about that shit. Like now, I, I go to be I, honest. When, like, I look at, when I look at a woman, I definitely look at like for example, if I go to the mall, if I go to the mall with a female, the store, the type of shit that she like, it tell me a lot. Like for example, you could wear sneakers, but if if shit like a boot don't interest you. A heel don't interest you. Like, yeah. if I've never seen you dressed up, or I I don't know that you're willing to get dressed up, that turned me off. Now, yeah. you're not supposed to be dressed up every day or dressed down every... But it's it's certain types of things. Like, for example... Can you switch it up? Can you switch it up? Can you dress for the occasion? If I need to go be around certain type of people, can you switch it up? Exactly. I exactly. Like, we're, like, I need... I need to know that you can get on what you call your grown woman shit if I need you to. If you yeah. can't get on your grown woman shit, I can't do that. You feel me? So mm -hmm. I can't I can't fuck with that. Like I I'm so anti little girl. That shit is be like I could never be one of them niggas that date them young motherfuckers. Like, I don't know how y'all niggas do it. Like niggas be like 30 dating 17 year olds and say, I nigga, I don't know how the fuck y'all niggas be doing. Like if we can't have a motherfucker like Diddy uh, dating a fucking 22 year old, he Fucking fifty, bitch. Like who? Who is? Yeah. You said Diddy. P Diddy. He dated a twenty-two year old. I couldn't. I, I don't. I couldn't do that. Like, and, and she dated a son before him. Like, see? what the fuck? But that, that those is niggas. Niggas who like females that. Are, and, and and I'm not saying because you're young, you're young minded. And I'm not saying because mm -hmm. you older, you got an older mind. What I'm saying is niggas who like less ma less maturely developed minds. Are niggas who are parasitic and and they want to conquest you. I don't want a woman. Yep. Yep. I don't want a female that I got to tell to do everything. I need a female that I can trust, know how to do her without me telling her shit. Feel me? So that's because you already whole within yourself. Exactly. Niggas that want to so parasite can, off of you, they want to manipulate you and control your mind. See? They love so younger I can't, girls. Yeah, and th and then it be reversed too because a lot of females don't want it. A lot of females want a nigga like me. Until they get a nigga like me, and it don't work because now I feel like now you feel like I'm a father figure more than a nigga because you want to bullshit and I don't want to bullshit. So you gonna yeah, push them and they don't and they don't want to be like they don't want to be pushed. And so this is why I'm like man, this is why I be very select. Like dude, I don't like this. This is why I'm very selective as far as like my dating life go. Like, because I'm not what, like, I'm telling you, like, you don't see me recycling females on this motherfucker. I don't got a new motherfucking girl every, like, no, because it's like, dude, I cannot deal with the dumb shit. I can't deal with the kid shit. I can't do it. Like, go ahead. One thing I noticed, you were talking about polygamy, you know what I'm saying? Yes, but I remember you saying that you tried it and it didn't work because one person is always going to you know, feel neglected or want more attention than the others. Who said I was that? Who said that? I thought I could have sworn I seen a live or something. I ain't saying no shit like that. You I said probably, that. I probably was. I probably was combat. I, I probably was combating that. Like I remember somebody said something about somebody not feeling neglected and it not working, and I said. I said a lot of shit, actually. But I think you put a post. Two, it was like a post. I'm about to say two of the main points I made was. <laughs> We're grown, and if and if we're all constantly working, who the fuck gonna feel like? For example, right when when people say polygamy, right, mm -hmm. the first thing that people must obviously be thinking of in their mind is that we just sitting in each other's face all day, not doing shit and competing for brownie points. Because mm -hmm. if I'm dating one person, they gonna be doing them, okay? Like y'all don't like y'all see Golden doing her. She not just under my motherfucking shadow all day. <laughs> So my thing mm -hmm. is, if I'm dating multiple people, we doing us. Who the fuck about to... Listen, it's, it's kind of like when you're in a one-on-one -on -one relationship, right? Mm -hmm. 
if your if your partner is not doing shit all day, this is how they become nitpicky. Like you know you know why That's a lot of true. you know why a lot of niggas be naggy because you going to work. You do, and this nigga sitting at home playing two K. So after a while, he don't have nothing to focus on but you. So he 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 start to do little shit like, where why you wearing that? Where you going? Or just just little little shit to urge you and get a reaction out of you. And he don't realize. And the reason he doing that bitch nigga shit is because mm -hmm. he don't have no motherfucking business. Because if he was doing something, mm -hmm. then he wouldn't have time to feel neglected to where he's trying to get a negative response out of you. So my thing is, mm -hmm. if I'm dating women. They're mentally grown. So all that, all that I feel neglected shit, what the fuck do you mean you feel neglected? What, 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 what define neglect? Now, if I'm not being a man, which is mean catering to you psychologically and emotionally, yes. But all of that, you not sitting in my motherfucking face and woo -dee woo those are petty motherfuckers' problems. Because mm -hmm. over here, we trying to get to the bag. I'm trying to leave my kids something. I'm not trying to be a nigga who just yak his flappers. So if a female is talking to me about they can't do polygamy because they're going to feel neglected. Automatically, in my mind, is you don't have no business. You don't have a life. Like, you don't have goals. You feel me? Because mm -hmm. I never feel neglected, ever. Now, I felt it. Listen, I didn't been in so many relationships uh, and, and experienced so many things. In my present relationship, we felt a lot of things. One thing I have never felt was neglected. Not because my woman doesn't not neglect me, but because... I'm so motherfucking busy, I don't know what neglected feel like. Cause I always got something to do. Whether it's this relate, whether it's my kids, my relationship, mm -hmm. my business, whatever. So if you if you a motherfucker that's bored all day and you ain't doing shit and you wanna sit in the motherfucking face and you think and you one of them females who think just cause you look a certain way that that's all you gotta bring to the table, you one of them females that's you you one of them females that go get your hair done and get your nails done. And if a nigga don't come bust a selfie with you on the on the couch and be like, oh, my, my bitch bad, you feel neglected. Well, sorry, with me, you gonna feel neglected because I don't pay for weed and I don't entertain mm -hmm. that shit. And I don't give a fuck about that shit. I don't, I don't entertain none of that shit you feel. If, you, if I don't come in this motherfucker house, uh, and, 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 I mean, excuse me, if, if I don't come in this house and leave this house and come in this house and leave this house and you can't at least tell me one thing you did to further yourself, you're gonna feel very neglected by me because that's a motherfucking turn off. I don't wanna hear I don't, I don't give a fuck about it's that. That's that Virgo. Man, it's 2019. They say by 2053, black people are gonna be at zero percent wealth. I know. What 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 female what female in her right mind is not is trying to be getting taken care of? Because females feel like a man is supposed to take care of them. Mm -hmm. But if niggas was able to take care of you for real, for real, we mm -hmm. wouldn't be going to we wouldn't be on our way to zero percent wealth. Mm -hmm. Niggas can't take care of you because we don't own the banks. So females need to get that shit out of their head. So my thing is, I live in the real world. I don't live in the artificial reality mm -hmm. world where shit is just motherfucking bikini bottom and fucking Squidward running around. Nigga, this is a, this is twin. This is the real fucking world, motherfucker. Ain't nothing good. Go. Shit is only getting worse. So my thing mm -hmm. is, if a motherfucking female sit here talking to me about some, she feel neglected. She. Act, if you ask her, what part of you would feel neglected? Because I'm going to be loving on you. I'm going to be touching on you. We're going to be dating. So don't say you Yeah, it's not like she's bored or some shit. Like, she ain't you, doing you wanna, that. No, you want to get you want to get taken care of, and you want to be the motherfucking the, the, the star on the top of the Christmas tree. And if you're not, then you feel neglected. And that's just the truth. And and I am and I like when women say shit like that, because thanks for letting me know that you're not for me. So. Right. You know what I mean? But I appreciate you pulling up, Queen. You had everything beautiful to say, and I love you. Peace. Peace. All right, now, two more. I got two more people. Let me go find the two I said I was pulling up. Yeah, y'all y'all motherfuckers is beyond me. Okay, one person jumped. Oh, no, no, here she go. Ooh, I almost skipped you. Russ said, I'm a Virgo when I trick off. Hey. Peace, no, Queen. How you doing? All right. I'm John A. All right. Now, so how you doing, just, sweetheart? I'm doing all right. So I just wanted to talk about the um 
like go off of what y'all were saying um as far as um you know the hair everybody go off trends nowadays you know everybody want to be like somebody else and you know i guess the trend is to have long beautiful flush like low it excuse me long beautiful luscious hair you know and i just feel like we're being stripped of you know what was known to be our beauty you know we've been stripped of it um nobody wants to wear the regular hair i used to have a really bad problem with not wearing my hair like yep. loving weave you know i loved weave i used to get perms and everything and i just was realizing you know it's damaging my hair so one day i was talking to my auntie like i'm just gonna cut my hair off and see what happened i cut all my perm out and went to the barbershop with like a haircut. I was the only girl in the barbershop. Everybody's like, wow, that looks really nice on you. That's when right. I just gained the most confidence, you know, like, and I just learned to love my natural self. I feel like I, like, you know, if a woman was to challenge herself, you know, and, you know, just challenge yourself to love who you are and love yourself in your natural state, you just feel so much better. You won't care That's about right. what other people think, you know, you won't care about what anybody else is doing with their hair you know i have friends who are weave queens okay and i'm like you're gonna be your, you know you're gonna wear your weave and i'm gonna wear my natural you know i try to encourage her to do it but you can't force somebody to do something they don't want to do you know so um that's right and i just feel like um what you guys were talking about uh i feel like nowadays like i was saying with the trends everybody is so stuck on being a hot girl or you know getting flued out stuff like that and they don't realize that um you have to be the go-getter for yourself what are you going to do to create general wealth for you know generational wealth for your you know for the generations that's to come because if you know black people are to say you know said to be um you know poor you know we about to be broke 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 you know we need a word that we already that. Right. So, you know, you got to do something to better yourself. Like the queen, um, a couple times, a couple, um, times before me, she said, you know, she was talking about her being a hairdresser. I'm in hair school. And I just feel like I was, as I'm doing people hair in school, you know, a lot of people be wanting weave. Like, why can't I bring my weave in and stuff like that? You know, I'm like, just try loving your natural beauty. You know, I try natural styles all the time. When I had hair, I was like, you know, I can, you know, give you some hairstyles to check out, you know, I go on Pinterest and everything, search stuff up, yeah. you know, and so um, I just feel like they just have to learn to love themselves, um, and being in beauty school, it just made me realize that I do want to do natural hair. I retwist my cousin's locks and stuff, you know, natural hair is where it's at. I'm trying to get everybody on the, on the, on the boat. That's right. <laughs> we go, you know. That's right. Listen, I appreciate everything you came on here and you just said, and I'm glad that you're sharing your, you know, your testimony, you know, because people need to hear this shit. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? People need to hear this shit. And um, I believe this has been a very powerful live and people such as, yes. such as yourself has came on here and made it even more powerful. And, you know, this is, a, I'm going to save this live because this live is, it, it touched my spirit and I'm, I'm the one conducting it. And, you know, I just can't wait to see our people get up off that bullshit. But I got one more person I'm going to bring on because I'm getting tired over here. I'm a Me too. I want to tell you, listen, I appreciate you coming on. Um, I appreciate you coming up here saying what you need to say. And, Thank you know, you I love you. And I, and I appreciate your strength. Thank you very much. I love you too. Bye. All right now. Peace, Queen. All right now. I loved her. Let's go. All right now. We got one more. This is a good ass live right here. Let's go. Okay, let me. Oh, she gone. Wait a minute. Oh no, there she go. Blessings, bear. I was gonna say now, don't jump out of there. I was gonna say, don't jump out of there. Hello. How you doing, sweetie? My my it's signal like, went out. My bad. <laughs> Yeah, you're good. Okay. How you doing, sweetheart? I'm good. How are you? 
I'm okay, so I just I want to first start off by saying thank you so much for doing this live. Second off, I want to say I was mad at you the first time you said this. I came across your channel and I was like, oh my gosh, weaves, I can wear a weave. It's a protective style. He's wrong. He don't know what he's talking about. I was like, man, and I stopped watching it. I was like, man, I'm going to wear what I want to wear. And then I started seeing Asian people smacking on black people. I started seeing Asian people doing all types of crazy stuff in these stores. And I was like, okay, so now we're a business. So I came back. And I was like, you know what? He's right. It's not a protective style because you can do a protective style with your natural hair, okay? Granted, I do got a kink along right now, but you can twist up your hair. When these come out, I twist up my hair and then hold up. It's fine. There we go. You're right. Take your time. Or you can, put it, you can put it in a bun. You can do... A protective style does not mean weave. A protective style does not mean a sewing. A protect, protective style just means your ends are wrapped up and you're not messing in your hair. So... Protect us out, nothing. Uh uh. And you are completely right. And these people, I mean, I'm a cancer, so I was hurt when you first said it. I was like a little bit. I mean, I mean, I got that effect on people to say shit and they right. like me and then it sink in and they be like, that nigga was right. Right. But, exactly. So um, keep on doing what I you're doing it. because everybody out here, they need they need you. They need people like me. They need people going around and saying, thank you for wearing your natural hair. Hey, your hair is beautiful. When you see natural girls, say that their hair is beautiful. Uplift them. So thank That's you. Exactly. So yeah. Well, listen, I appreciate you. Um, I loved everything you had. You came over here to say, and I'm glad that you gave that testimonial because I, people do that with me a lot. Oh, nigga, you hurt my feelings. And just because, <laughs> right. you know, just because my feelings is hurt, you know, you, you must be wrong. But it, it no. shows your ability to, um, you know, discern information properly and, mm -hmm. and, and, and attest to reality. And at the end of the day, like you said, these people motherfuckers don't give a fuck about us. These people out these right. people do not this give a year, fuck like about us, man. You can charge extra because you're black, okay? Man, listen, I'm trying to tell you. But um, listen, you're beautiful. Thank you for pulling up. I appreciate you. you, and I love you. Thank you. Love you, too. All right, now have a good one, Queen. You, too. Bye. Peace. All right, now, let me see. Where Brad? Y'all said pull that dude up. Where he go? I can't hit my motherfucking request. Oh, there he Okay. Here we go. It was good. What's good? What's good? What's up with you, Brody? I don't know what happened, man. It just pulled, it just clicked off. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, it's good, good. It's good. I've been seeing that happen no, no, a lot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The people saying they can't hear me. Not you, the people. Y'all tell me in the yeah, comments. Yeah. If... I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't hear you at first. So okay, you just added me. Okay. You good now? All right, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to let you know, disclaimer, you know what I mean? I ain't got no nigga itis and nothing, you know what I mean? None of that. Cool. I'm just I'm just keep it G. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it G. Now I don't know I do not I don't like makeup. I don't I don't really care for the makeup, you know what I mean? I like I don't mind my eyeliner, lip gloss and shit like that. That's cool. You know what I mean? I even like lashes, you know what I mean? That's just me. You know what I'm saying? Now I do like a female that's versatile. Mm -hmm. If you ain't versatile, you is not my type. Cause I don't mind, like I said, I, I blow money on weed. You know what I mean? By the same time, if you cannot take it out and look good, I can't fuck with you. But at the same time, if that's all you can do, just rock your fro and da da da. Nah, cause I don't mind. I don't mind a little blue hair, the nice little bob. You know what I mean? Well, what I, what Itches. I'm saying, I love that. What I'm, what I'm saying is, so that we on this, cause I, I hear you, and I'm I'm, I'm here for opinion. When I yeah. when I say a woman rock her natural hair, I'm not saying you personally. But yeah. people, people get one track minded and they stereotype yeah. it. So when we say yeah. natural hair, because it's really not I'm insecurity not though. Like, I don't give like like for example, yeah. I don't give a fuck if you if you braid it, 
It, it's it's yeah. literally thousands of natural hairstyles. You can go yeah. if, if you can't if you can't think of a natural hairstyle to do. If you got short, medium, or long hair, you can go in there and type in short, medium, or long natural hairstyles for black women. So I'm not saying for you, but just for women yeah. who be like, I don't know what to do. Yeah, like I'm not saying she's yeah, gonna lock a fro. Yeah. Yeah, because um, all right, I put it like this. My mom, she all the way 100% pro-black. She don't do none of the wigs, she nothing. She rock her fro. You get what I'm saying? My aunt, she's a hairdresser. You know what I'm saying? And I've been there plenty, plenty of times to get my dress done. I do see white women go in there, and they had the whole corn rolls on, like a whole straight new Nicki Minaj type female. I do see that. I see, I'm around the world. I see different varieties. You know what I'm saying? I even see uh, Asian women and, and white women. They try to do a little fro. It don't it don't pop, but they do do the fro thing. You know what I'm saying? So I really don't really see that as an insecurity issue. I see it as like you know what I mean. You, you switching up. You, you know what I mean? You you, you want to be versatile. You want to look different. You know what I'm saying? It ain't got nothing to do with insecurity. Now do do you have something that's insecure? Yeah, but you got females who really can't afford hair. They put their hand upon it till I got nice little hair and shit, but they still insecure about other shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like hair is, is shit is part of the problem, but it's really not a big problem. You know what I mean? That's how I feel. Like, like I said, I like versatile. You know what I mean? I love that blonde shit. I love the four, 42 inches. You know what I mean? I love that Nicki Minaj shit. But far as, I do agree with you as far as fake asses, fake uh, uh, titties and shit like that. Nah, baby, love you. You know what I mean? Let me let me let me ask you a question. Let me hear it. If, if if I'm trying to see how to put it, so if 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 you dating a woman that's wearing weave, after yeah. a while, if the hairstyles as the hairdresser attested to is yeah, damaging stop. damaging the hair, pulling out the baby hairs, and then it gets to the point where she no longer attracted to you without her hair done, then then are you still loyal to her? Like like would you still look at it? Would you look like, at another? Would you look at another like that's, woman? That's Nah, that's what I mean by versatility. You get what I'm saying? Like, you ain't got every month, you ain't got to put it in. You know what I mean? You might have okay. just, all right, you get what I'm saying? Like, you might have this whole right. summer season when you actually want to step out, go to the beach and stuff. Because like I said, I deal with all different types of women. I you know what I mean? Right. I even look out for my baby moms. You know what I mean? So now if you're dependent on that, I'm going to let you know about yourself. You know what I mean? Right. Because I'm a type, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to get, I don't wanna get on the live. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you, you got to put your phone up, like you said. But at the same time, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. A lot of us dudes, we we, we, say we on that same page too, B. If we ain't got to shape up, we ain't stepping out. You know what I'm saying? If our hair ain't done, we ain't, we ain't going nowhere. We got to put the cap on. If we can't get in the club with a cap with a cap on, nah, bro, I'm going to holler at you later. You know what I'm saying? We be on the same shit too, B. That's the insecurity if you want to put it in there. Right I or mean, wrong. Listen, I would listen. Right I or wrong. I don't have them issues. But I nah, would, nah, I would, nah, I would, nah, nah, but nah, yeah, I would yeah, agree. yeah, I'm about to say, yeah, you agree. got people. I would yeah. agree. I would agree, but we, we also got to know the difference between proper presentation yeah. and, uh, you know, codependency. For example, yeah. I, wouldn't expect, I wouldn't expect a woman to go out the house, weave or no weave, without her hair done, period. Even, yeah, if, yeah, even if it's just in a ponytail. Facts, but facts. my thing is, I'm speaking towards... And I actually hear what you're saying, and I like it because it's ultimate perspective. You know what I'm saying? But I'm yeah, I'm speaking yeah. towards them females who they not... You not fucking with them if they if they hear not done. Like, it's no way possible you buy, you can't even FaceTime these motherfuckers. Oh, I had... Face. I had. Oh, look. I had a whole bunch of females like that, right? But let me tell you, this how I, this how I played it out. You know what I'm saying? I actually, you know what I'm saying... Just put that God talk on it, like, look, baby, it's all me. You know what I mean? You ain't, you ain't got to, I love the way you is. You know what I'm saying? I know, yeah, I know, yeah, cause I don't, your shit, cause your roots fucked up and shit right now. You know what I mean? But look, you can be yourself. I'm not going to judge you. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times, it ain't really got nothing to do with females trying to impress the man. It got something to do with females not trying to get picked on by other women. You get what I'm saying? That's right. And that's a fact. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you, so, you, you, like, yeah. far as, yeah. No, I'm saying you know what I'm saying? And, and, Oh yeah, you. What were you about to say? No, I'm, I'm listening to you. I was saying yeah. Yeah, cause like far as female wise, you know what I'm saying. If a man, if a female say she she don't have, say she got she got fucked up edges and stuff like that, you know what I mean. And you you make her feel comfortable about you know what I'm saying wearing her shit out. Baby, I don't give a fuck about nobody else what they fucking think. Baby, you you, you minds, you know what I'm saying. She gonna she gonna step out and do it, you know what I mean. But a lot of men don't really embrace it, you know what I'm saying. And you got a lot of dudes out here like me, 
I mean, that's not like me who who like versatility. You got some dudes like, nah, baby, you nah, you ain't going nowhere with me like that. Nah, baby, I like you all color. Look, if you want to put a a, a a purple hair purple uh, bob in, I'm fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm loving it. You get what I'm See, saying? See, my, my, my thing is, I'm loving it. my thing is proper edit. If I'm saying the word right, proper etiquette. Like, for example, yeah. I'm not going to leave the house without brushing my teeth. So oh, yeah, of course, of course, of course. Nigga, Hygiene. If a, nigga, if a nigga finna go to the club and you yeah. finna be, not even a club, if you finna go to a public setting, yeah, certain things just got to be done. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Yeah. you know, you should have your hair, you know, however you rock. I don't know if niggas wear, you know, edge up, haircut. I don't know how niggas wear their yeah. hair. Yeah. I got lots. So yeah. I can't really attest I'm in the same place as you. Yeah, you should be properly groomed. If a woman, yeah. you know, wakes up in the morning and whether she natural or not, she should be properly groomed. Uh, I got a question. Go ahead. I got a question, right? Say, say your queen was like, "Look, baby, I want to go ahead and get some forty-two inches." Duh. Yeah, I mean, I just want to test something out. I just want to test something out. Uh, can you rock with me with it? I just want to no. do it just for two weeks. Hell no. So you don't like the versatility? I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm not with that. And I'm not, I don't want my listen. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't think about my kids and take some money out my pocket. And give it to another race of people for their kids, knowing they don't give a fuck about me because you want to try something out. Because that's like me telling her, okay, that's like me telling her, that's like me telling her, okay, yeah. baby, I want to go date a white woman because I want to see if they really do treat black niggas better. Let me try. Man, something. that's wait, that's too, that's no, too not. different. That's no, no, no that's no, too no, different. Not, bro, we talking about, we talking about, we talking about the power of 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 the dollar. I'm not about to give yeah. my dollar to another motherfucker because you want to try something out. I, I wouldn't expect her to do. I but, wouldn't expect. But I, listen, that's like that's like saying I don't want to give you no money for the new hair products. No, it's not, bro. If it's listen, if 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 you if you asking me to invest yeah. and take, I got two kids that I think about yeah. every time. I, every yeah. time I wouldn't give a fuck if I go buy one of these goddamn dollar jugs of water. Every time yeah, I yeah, buy yeah. something, every time I buy something, I tell myself, you spend do, you, do you need this shit more than your kids need this shit? Hell no. And, and if the answer is hell no. Hey, wait, wait, hold on. Pause, wait, pause no. real quick. Pause real quick. Hey, for Avon Alive, I'm a truck driver. That's why I got his headset on. You know I said? I had, to, I had to get him that little knowledge real quick. There you go. But yeah, keep now, going. There you go. There you go. Yeah. yeah, so my thing is, I don't really live my life like it's a game. So a lot yeah. of people, a lot of people, like, that's like me telling a motherfucker, that's like me telling a, uh, a female, yo, let me see. What's some stupid shit niggas spend money on that I think is stupid? Okay, let me let me. Here we go. That's like me telling telling my lady, let me go throw five thousand in the strip club because I want to go see. I want to go see how the women treat me if I go make it rain. Like what? I mean, me nah, nah, but, but nah, be like that's that's different though. You know what I mean, bro? All why, right. why am I about she, to spend? Why am I about to spend damn near a stack on a motherfucking? On, nah, on, here, on, nah, on, nah, on nah, nah, nah. Hey, hair. look. Hey, look. I, I spend. I spend. Prices. I spend on here monthly. I spend here on here monthly, you know what I mean? It, it don't cost no stack. It don't Listen, cost no stack. It, how what, what kind of weave you buying for? Because if I'm gonna buy some weave, oh, I, buy, I, I, counter, I buy behind the counter, baby. The, I buy behind the, the counter. counter. I'm not a behind the counter nigga. And I'm saying you are, but I'm saying if I buy some yeah. weave, she going to get the same shit Nicki Minaj wearing. Ain't no, ain't no. See, my thing is if I oh go yeah, ain't home, no half stepping. Ain't yeah, no half stepping. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Behind behind the counter is that good shit. That's what I'm saying. Listen, if I if I buy some motherfucking weave, this shit about to be. Like when she posts yeah, this, picture, this shit gonna get strippers. this shit gonna get a this shit gonna get a million she gonna get a million likes from all the weed lovers. So my thing yeah. is, why even why why even play like that if that's something we're yeah, not because, passionate about? Like, but I, it's, I, I mean, understand what you're saying, but me and and my relationship, yeah. we not that's not something we we that's not something we even like. I, like for example, I'm not I don't even go to strip clubs. Never really did. So yeah, I'm not, yeah, yeah, I don't fuck with it. Yeah, yeah, I'm not passionate about that. So if I was to tell a motherfucker, let's go, to, let me go to strip club and throw some money, it would be like stupid for me because I really don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm the type of nigga I go to. If I, if you take me to a club, I'm gonna be ready to leave in like 20 minutes. Like if this bitch, it's, yeah. it's either it's either we and this bitch. That's turned, how your environment. Yeah, it's either we and this bitch and we turned up, or don't bring me to this motherfucker. But I don't really like like you said. That's not even me anyway. So, so do you I feel like a be, woman? Do you feel like a woman is less of a goddess? Goddess. If she had like inches and, no. and like rocking it, I feel like or you, that's just something like, that I feel like you're not for me. I feel like me, and I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it why. I don't want nobody in this live stream right now that may or may not wear weave to feel like you less of a goddess. The reason yeah. I, say I, I that, yeah, I just want to ask that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that's a good question, bro. I appreciate yeah. that. 
the reason I say that she's not for me is because if I was to travel in a time machine and get yeah. into a relationship with my ancestors, they wouldn't have no 42 inch showing in their head. If I was to jump in the time machine and get into a relationship with my ancestors, they wouldn't have no blue contacts in their eyes. Now, if whether somebody want to argue that that that's blue, time changing, that blue, this is what I'm saying. I want to date. Yeah. A, I want to date a black woman that that's actually realistic. Re, that actually reminds me of a black woman. I don't want to date yeah. a black woman that reminds me of some shit I've seen on TV. So my thing is, if, if if I'm dating you, then that means I'm planning on having children with you. That means I'm planning on creating a future with you. So I don't. But you got to understand this too, though, G. You got to understand this. Black females, right? They they have flavor. You know what I mean? There's nothing normal about a black female. They they always doing something different. They always doing some extraordinary yeah, shit but that's, that's popping. Before you go you know down that saying? road, like, before you before you go down that road, I just want to say that black people did not create weaves or lace fronts. So 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 out of all of the oh no, I was gonna get to that. I, no, I was gonna get to that because I ain't got no facts on that. <laughs> I, I don't do. speak nothing. I ain't got no I facts do. on. I do. Yeah. I yeah, do. yeah. And the reason I, the reason I see I a lot of, I because, see a lot of, uh, yeah, because people be talking about the. Your signal acting up. Real facts on. I wasn't born around that time, so I, I can't, I can't speak on it. But I like, you know, what I'm see, saying, my like, thing, I, my thing is, um, why do we indulge so much in shit that we didn't create? Like, for example, that's like saying. Niggas got a lot of sauce and flavor, and you don't see niggas. You don't see niggas. Um, what you call it? Wearing white boy hairstyles. All out of all of this, out of all of the sauce and flavors that we wear, you don't see niggas rocking Chinese people hairstyles. So my thing is, I'm not gonna give black women sauce and flavor. You know the excuse to 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 have me funding another motherfucker household who don't give a fuck about mine. You feel me? Like yeah, we got. Nah, nah, but all right, but you got like all right. From where I'm from, I'm from North Carolina, right? And ain't there's not really a lot of Chinese and Arab beauty supply stores and all that extra shit. There's number of black females. Like when you when I go to the uh, hair joy and stuff, it's black females. Black females own that. You know what I'm saying? We talking about, who, star we talking about who, who started? Who create? Who? Let me ask you right now. Who yeah, was yeah. the first person who ever conceived the idea of sewing and weaving another race of people here <laughs> or another animals here? Into a black person's mm. head. Did a black person create that? Yes or no? Nah, a black no. person ain't create that. Okay. Because you who, had the white boys wearing not, wigs not, back not, in the day too. Okay. <laughs> so why do so why do we why do we choose to engage and invest yeah. so much in somebody else's idea of how we should look of, in accordance to beauty standards? Like I don't. I don't think I, I don't think I when when see. like I'm a, I'm gonna speak for the black females that I deal with. You know what I'm saying? When they put different hair when they do their hairstyles or whatever the last thing they think about is like oh damn i want to like kim kardashian you know what i'm saying that's the last thing they thinking about first you know what i'm saying they think about oh damn my shit about to be popping my shit about to be laid and slayed let me ask you, let and me I'm ask you a question let me ask you a question yeah have you ever seen the president of a suit i mean the president you seen the president wear a suit right yeah you seen an attorney wear a suit right yeah you seen a nigga in the coffin wear a suit right yeah and the nigga, the last thing on the nigga in the coffin mind is, damn, I'm dead as a motherfucker, and I look like my lawyer. But guess what? You look like your lawyer. You look I know, like your yeah. president. So just because it's, wait, hold it's hold not, hold just wait, it's hold not hold on your, just because it's not yeah. on your mind, don't mean yeah. it's not a re, just don't mean it's not a reality. I mean, I know, like a lot of my homeboys, like one of my homeboys just got buried about last month, right? He ain't had no suit on. He was dressing like he was going to the club. But I mean, good. that's a different topic. Yeah. But good, <laughs> I mean, he was himself. He good. was himself. You know what I mean? Good. He wasn't no like, you know what I mean? He was himself. Good. He had to fit it. He had his chain on and everything. Yeah, you you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know. Me personally, I'm not about to see him be like, like, I, I, I'm the type, if you don't wear a weave, you know what I'm saying? Or you can't wear it or you don't like it, I, you're just not my type. I, I'd be like, nah, babe, I like looking, looking at something different. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? I, I like the versatility. You know what I'm saying? Right. Listen, because I, it's like it's it's more it's more it's more of a I think to me, me personally, I can't speak for nobody else, but it's more of a fetish and a fantasy. You get what I'm saying? See, now we going now we going somewhere. Now we going somewhere. Hey, that's just now, real. No, that listen, that's why this why we we this a this a real nigga conversation right here. You damn now right. We going, so, now we going somewhere. Yeah. So what is 
what is what is the fantasy? Like, what is the fa what do you want? What do you want her to look like? That's a fantasy to you. Hold on, wait a minute, bro. You got you got silent. Wait a minute, your signal went out. I can't hear you. Okay, you back. You good yeah. now? So what's the right. yeah? What's the fetish in the fan? What's the fetish in the fantasy? Man, shit. Is it some exotic tropical shit? Okay, so you saying that that type of hairstyle was considered exotic? Yeah, it's exotic and tropical. Like, don't get me wrong, right? Like, like, what I mean by exotic and tropical, I ain't talking about no little Puerto Rican or no little, little bitch from Costa Rica. I'm talking about like a like a, a Nubian. Like, she sometimes she might switch her head to long Nubian uh, uh, hair. Long as hell. Shit now, turning me, me on. Question. Let me ask you a question. Cause I want to. I'm being serious here. What new, yeah. What Nubians do you know live in the tropics? That's that's tropical. I mean, that shit's tropical to me. No, it, it's, no, it's, no, it's, no, no, it's, no, no, it's no, 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 Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. It's, it's I'm, I, I think I used the wrong word. I think I used the wrong word. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm exotic. Like, exotic, exotic, so, so, exotic, so, 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 Can I use exotic? Long, let me ask you a question. So long straight hair to you is considered exotic. Exotic. I like it wavy. You know what I'm saying? I like the curly. I like the curliness sometimes. I so even like the like locks. You, so, so if something is exotic to you, it's a little bit foreign, which means yeah. okay. So, so we get somewhere. You want black women to look a little bit more foreign than they do. Hmm. I know. What, I know. I see what you getting at. You know what I'm saying? Because I see what you getting at. Trop, listen, when you say the tropics and shit exotic, like that, yeah. they can have curly hair in the tropics. Like yeah. Yeah, so so the straight hair yeah. shit. Cause like like like, cause I like I like all right. I put it like this, cause I did like I ain't I only I ain't never dated outside my race. I don't, I don't play that shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. That's not me. You know what I mean? Now I dated females that you know what I'm saying was dark skin with the wet and wavy hair. I love that shit, especially when she get out the water. I'm like, damn, baby, I loving that shit. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, if she she add if say she add extra hair to her hair, add tracks. And it, and it does the same thing. I'm still getting turned on. Long hair turns me on. Different hairstyles turn me on. You know what I mean? Just, you know what I'm saying? I, I just got to, I just, you know what I'm I got to crave for different things. Okay, I, listen, I can, res I can respect that. And I can understand that. So long story short, where, where I'm getting with this is you yeah. like black women that have, to a certain extent, caucasoid or... Nah, uh, nah, nah, <laughs> nah. Listen, I gotta say that because when you say, listen, bro, listen, listen, I have to yeah. examine this from a reality yeah, yeah, yeah. If you All say right. wet, and, if you say wet and wavy, wet and wavy, here, yeah, ain't no black woman here getting no motherfucking wet and wavy. It might get wet, You're and crazy, wavy, wet. Nah, wet nah, 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 nah. You got females with different hair textures. Yeah, you but know what I'm not, saying. So what yeah, you, and they got. So the, so what's, it, what's wet and wavy? If I pull up a, okay, let me pull up a picture. That yeah, yeah, please do. Yeah, 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 yeah. please do. Because I, I could, yeah. Because I'm going to keep it all the way to you. I, I know it's there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I got you now. I got you. Because matter of fact, you had, you had, yeah, because you had like a female on your live earlier who, who, who had some hair that I was like, damn, baby, you turning me all the way on. Then you had another female, uh, I think the female before me, but she had like little curls and shit. I love that shit. You know what I mean? Right. Okay, I'm pulling it up now. Yeah. Okay. Now watch this. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, let me pull this shit up. All righty. Boom. Okay, I got you. Now, you talking about... Yeah, let me see this. What the fuck is going on, man? What images? Oh, I thought I knocked my motherfucking internet out. Hey, hey, I'm going to tell you. Can I add something more to? Go ahead, bro. Why are you searching? Hey, I love I love the long nails, you know what I mean? And I, you know what I'm saying? Really, I ain't really tripping on no, I ain't really tripping oh, okay. on nothing but no, on nothing but no weed. Oh, I ain't really okay. tripping on nothing okay. but no weed. Yeah, I, yeah, I like that shit too. Yeah, I'm about to say. Other, yeah. Okay, now let me let me ask you a question. This I typed in wet and wavy here, right? This yeah, 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 yeah. About? I fucks with her. Yeah, I, I fucks with her. Yeah, I fucks with her. Yeah. Now Look at that pretty ass mouth. I fucks with her, yo. Now this no. <laughs> I, Forget her. We talking about the hair. This yeah, yeah, yeah. Forget her. Yeah, forget her. Talking about the hair. The hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now this I buy shit, that all the time. Now this shit say Indian. This shit don't say yeah. no motherfucking. Now watch this. All I did was type in <laughs> Dominican woman. Same hair. Oh yeah. God okay, damn. Now. So the so the point yeah, I'm see, to make I love is, that too. Okay then. So that's what I'm saying. You want a black woman that look non-black. Nah. 
Nah, 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 because, nah, nah, the reason why I can't, nah, 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 the reason why, the reason why I can't say yeah, because I, I have dated so many dark skin, because that's my type, I like dark skin. Bro, that's, that's, listen, that's, what you saying to me right I, now, how I'm taking it, yeah. is when a white person say, I'm not racist, I have a black girlfriend, like, that don't mean you're not racist. Nah, 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 if yeah, yeah. Just say you like your black women with a little bit of non-black features, and nigga, I'm cool with that. But just say, don't, yeah. you, But listen, the reason the reason that it's important that we say that because yeah. we can't keep psychologically destroying these women. Making but I, 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 can I ask a question? Them, making that we making them think that we accept them as they are when we yeah. really, when not me, but when other black men really don't. So niggas want I, for him. Go ahead. Can I can I ask a question? All right. So what? Uh, what you saying is, all right, so say I like black females, but I really don't care for kinky hair. Can you sit here and say that all black females have kinky hair? Because, cause like, it's different females with different hair yes. textures. You know what I'm yes. saying? Yes, and yes, I, yes, yes, yes. They have you know what I'm saying? Yes. Now, let, now let me, now, I need about two minutes to talk. All right, all right. I, I, I hear you every day. That's right. The reason that all black women have kinky hair is because if you're not black, you're a Neanderthal, which means you have Facts. primate or you have canine here. So yeah. motherfuckers that got that silky wet shit, that Indian Dravidian shit that like I just showed. So you, you're this saying that old type? This is Neanderthal here. This is monkey here. Oh. So, so what we doing is we telling our black women that since they're the only natural human beings on the planet Earth, their standard yeah. of here is not more beautiful than someone who's only 93% human being, 7% Neanderthal. So when we tell a woman, like you just said, if, I, if I'm if i such and such and I don't like a woman that got kinky hair, cool, I'm cool with that. I'm, I'm not a judger. But what I'm saying is that means you like women that have animal-based hair or texture that resembles animal-based hair. When you see Chinese people with that straight hair, white people with that straight hair, and other non-black people with that straight hair, even the motherfuckers in India, such as this, such as this Indian wet and wavy, yeah. that is animal-based yeah. hair. That is that yeah. is that all right. is. All right, all right, I don't, cause I don't, I don't like, I don't like that straight bone shit. That's never been. I like the curls, the wavies. You know what I'm saying? But I don't like straight bone hair, and I'm not a big fan on like kinky hair. That's like, fair to say. I like I like black women that wear their own hair. However, that shit naturally looks. Yeah, that's yeah, what I yeah, like. yeah. And, and, and like I said, I'm not with just a fro. I don't give a fuck yeah. how you do it. Long as you do, I would rather I would rather pay for a woman to go to the salon every month or every two weeks to just keep doing different shit with her natural hair than yeah. to buy a weave. See, because my thing is, if a woman say she, if a woman say I don't got the time to keep up with my hair, I'm willing to invest in you to keep going to get your hair done. To show you that I appreciate your natural hair. I'm not going to allow you to be lazy and tell me some shit like, I don't really know what to do with my hair, so I wear a weave because it's convenient. Because I don't know. Go do your motherfucking nah, hair. Hey, hey, I ain't going to lie. Weave is hard to keep up. Trust me. I, I done dealt with a lot of females, man. It's hard to keep up. You know what I mean? But it yeah. is harder to maintain your natural hair. I will give you that. Yeah, listen. You know what I mean? But... You know, to, to each his own. Some some women say they can, some women say they can't. All I'm saying is I'm the type of nigga where I'm going to help you. Even even if I can't do every week, we can go every other week. You pay for your shit this week, I pay for your shit next week. You pay for your shit this week, I pay for I, your shit. I got shit. a question, right? Yes, sir. I got a question. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at the comments and stuff. So, basically, would I be considered a coon-ass nigga because of the hair preference I like? Now, me personally, I wouldn't say you a coon ass nigga because of the hair preference, because your allegiance is to your people. What I would say is yeah. you should actually evaluate yourself on why you like features that don't naturally come with the women that you like. Because that's like a I, white I, person, that's like a white that's like a black yeah. a black woman told you, I like black men, but I only like black men that, that got blue eyes and, and wear wigs like this. Because I like my shit blonde and wavy. <laughs> then, 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 then it'd be like, damn, are you telling me that you not? I'll walk away. See, see, it's it, it's about toxic, yeah. toxic, you know, subconscious programming. programming. I wouldn't say you a fool. Yeah. I don't know you personally. To me, you say you only date black women, nigga. That's that's more than half these yeah. niggas do. So that's cool. Yeah. So my thing is just all I'm saying is we gotta actually ask ourselves why the fuck do we like the things that we like? 
For example, yeah. some some niggas get hungry, right? And then they say, "Damn, I want a Snickers." But how can you naturally be hungry for a Snickers if a Snickers is a man-made item? It doesn't grow on yeah. a tree. Nothing in your biological self craves a Snickers. You only want a Snickers because you've seen that shit on TV so much. So when it comes to, you know, yeah. black women and certain features that we like about them, we got to ask ourselves, who the fuck told me to like this feature? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What the fuck? I ain't going to lie, though. I ain't going to lie, Pharaoh. I fuss, I fuss with Nicki Minaj, man. That's my, that's my, that's my girl, yo. Listen, but you know what I mean. <laughs> but if she, but plays, I don't like the fakeness. But I like the, I like the different shit she yeah, do. Listen, I don't. Listen, I don't. I don't. I'm a. I don't judge no nigga. All I do is I try to have open, appropriate conversations so that we can, we can, we can get in tune with why we, why each other think a certain way. Because my thing is, you, you fuck with Nicki Minaj. But I don't know Nicki Minaj because I've never seen yeah. Nicki. Like for example, Nicki Minaj has plastic surgery, which means I don't know yeah. your body. That's a fake body. Yeah. I don't know yeah. what your hair really look like under that weed. So yeah, because I, I met her in person plenty of times. She cool. Right. So so for me, I'm like, I can't fuck with the facade a person puts up. I I, I okay. have to know the person. But I appreciate you pulling up, Brody. This is a hell of a good live. Yeah, you know I mean you brought some one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And um. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. Y'all mean keep keep doing your thing. All right, all right, B. All right, I got one more question. I know I got. I don't want to hold Go you ahead. up. All right. What about? Cause I I think I asked you this in one of your uh, live streams, right? All right, Probably say cause I, I mean, yeah, yeah. Cause uh, what about a man who only date mixed females? Would he be considered like a non non pro black man type shit? Listen, all right, all right. I say for I example, don't, I don't have a I don't have a like I'm gonna answer this honestly. I yeah, yeah, yeah. A, I don't have an obligation for black men to only date black women. I would only yeah. hope that we could love that's our you, women enough yeah. to date them. But here's the thing: what if you was in a relationship with somebody that's not black, and then you came into a certain level of information? Do I expect you to break up with your spouse? No. Okay. Yeah. Or what if yeah. you live somewhere? For example, right? If a motherfucker, like, let me let me use myself as an example. If it was a, me topic, a fact. if a motherfucker told me to date, like, okay, let me give you an example. If it was a, a mixed woman, right, but she was, let's say, conscious of what's going on in the world, she knew that vaccines was bad, she knew that GMO foods was bad, you know, and, and, and she had her mind on right as far as how you should raise a child. And then it was a black woman, and she ain't give a fuck. Yeah, you know I mean, didn't give a fuck about that. Yeah. She want to date, like, just, just totally toxic to raising children. Yeah. From a strong household point of view, if I had to choose, I would go with who's healthier for my children. So my thing is, Thanks. what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get motherfuckers to see, especially black men and black women, we have to become healthier for our children so that we can make these choices amongst ourselves. But I'm not here to tell nobody who and who not to date. Me personally, I prefer a black woman. I just need a black woman all day. Yeah, I just need for black women to understand that you have a, a higher level of greatness than you're living at. There's no reason yeah. for you to be striving for lowness when you was yeah. born to such highness. But my thing is, I got plenty of motherfuckers who, uh, you know, you might have been dating a Spanish person. You might have been dating a white person. Who knows? And then you watch a Young Pharaoh video and you find out. Yeah, all be these fucked videos. up. Yeah, but you, but you might have been yeah. with this person. Y'all you know I mean? But you might yeah. have uh, been with this person for five years or some shit. What the who the fuck is on to tell you to break up with them? But if if, if you could, if you could take that and y'all could take this and make it work, go ahead. My thing is really, my thing is just what you should be striving for is a mentally healthy black partner. Is that what yeah. you will, is that what you will always get? No, you know what I'm saying. Nah. This is not what you will always get. So th nah. that's just my thing. This is why I go so hard towards black women because I want to create or influence black women to become more healthy partners versus just trying to strive to be somebody's sexual object. Yeah. 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 It's, it's more, you shouldn't be on the gram trying to twerk and show your ass. Like that's not, that's not a mother. That's not a wife. Yeah. Cause I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie to a female who ain't never seen a young fair video. Love and hip hop is addicting. Cause I was, I was a big, I fuck with love and hip hop. I, you know what I mean? That's, then right. I actually started watching the shit and I was like, man, this shit too, 
this motherfucker ain't no way in hell. Now I'm about to be sitting at a table with a glass of wine and be ready to throw it on the motherfucker. This ain't this shit ain't real. Bro, you know what I mean? Why, hell, that's why I keep telling people, bro, like, bro, even even this poly shit, bro. I could have been did this shit. Like, I, I, yeah. I don't got to be like, bro, I can't deal with the mentality of women right now. And it's not even yeah, just, I don't look up. down on nobody. But that type of, especially in my age bracket, it's to the point where it's like, dog, the average female, like, this this is what I'm finding out about women, honestly, right? And this from my personal experience. If I if I talk to a female who been stuck in their way, like, if I talk to a female around my age, it, they either stuck in their ways or they comfortable in, in their toxicity. And then yeah, it's me and like, you same age. They be lost. Right. And then it's like, if I talk to somebody that's young as hell, I got to groom you, which means I don't want to have to fucking groom you. And then but can I like, say something? Go ahead. I'm going to say something, too. You know what I'm saying? I done talked to some conscious females, right? You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I done dealt with them. Because, like I said, I be all over the world. And... A lot of them be weird as shit, yo. Like, some of them be so conscious that it add a reality. I agree that with makes that, sense. too. I agree with that, too. You know too. what I mean? I agree with that, too. Like, yeah, because, like, everything, everything I'm doing, you judging. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I, like, I like to drink. You know what I mean? Now, you shouldn't be doing it. But I don't, I don't drink no liquor. I drink the wine shit. You know what I'm saying? I pop some champagne. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's like you you so, it's basically like you turn a conscious, consciousness into a religion. So it's like, you know and what I mean? I'm like, nah, I ain't. And, that's, and, that's, and, that's, and that shit is so broke. I totally agree. You got motherfuckers that's that's for example, like I don't like I don't like spiritual motherfuckers that's so spiritual it's fancy. Like I don't like motherfuckers yeah, that yeah. be like, oh, you know, ask the ancestors. Like motherfucker. Yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah. You, you yeah turn, come on. You yo. turning you turning the ancestors into Jesus. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So it's just exactly. to the point where it's like exactly. where where is a normal person? Like we're not actually exactly. to be like, overly conscious to where you you don't live in a yeah. real world because everything is everything is fucking fantasy. We're not asking you to be you know underly ratchet. Yeah. All I'm saying is where hey, look, is a, B. Where is a normal motherfucker? Like, exactly, man. That's what I'm saying. Hey, look, B. I was dealing with this one chick from Arizona, right? This motherfucker gonna say, "Why'd you go buy a Nike outfit? Why didn't you just go support some black businesses?" I said, "Man, I got so many unk shirts in my damn crib. I got so many feral shirts in my damn crib. What you mean? I just..." I just want to get some Nike. Nike got but damn some That's not. That's not. That's not. The problem is that nature is monetized. So even yeah. even even when people say you know go support something financially, people keep missing the fact that money is the reason the world is fucked up. It's not the solution yeah. to the world being fucked up. Exactly. So I'm, yeah. I, I mean, what, what money will do is make you more comfortable. Yeah, but it's yeah. not going to solve the world. So, so, so my solution is, people need to be creating solar panel based technology or technology that can, you know, run off the the point, the energy that's at the center of an atom, known as zero point energy, and we can create sufficient homes, structures, and mach and technology that is not yeah. only healthy to the environment, but it's it's enough. Uh, what you call it? It's enough. Um, it's enough energy sufficiency. For everybody to do them, like you, you literally yeah. don't have to pay gas right now or electric. Exactly. There's, there, there's enough energy in the atom. There, there's enough energy in the in a, in the center of an atom to boil all of the water in the ocean four thousand times. Think about that. Think about that. One. Yeah, they killed. They killed the man who had that. Uh, who invented uh, a car for uh water that you put the water in the car. Yeah, they knocked. They killed, bro. But, but they killed, bro. Shit, that's the shit we should be striving for. Fuck if they killed them. Let's all learn how to do. Like, like we use social media. If we use social media to put out how to make those same cars at the same rate that we put out trying to trying to clown somebody, it's no way yeah. they can stop it from getting out. If a motherfucker exactly. just able to say, "Listen, motherfucker, this how you make a car that run off water. This how you make a house that run off water." Whoopie woo. And, and and we use social media to push energy free a energy free lifestyle. What? So it, it, I agree yeah. with you there, and that's where I'm yeah. at. So when people be like, "Why don't you?" Invest? I'm like, "Wait, why, why don't you shut yeah. the fuck up?" Because investing. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, because yeah, I I don't know I know mad motherfuckers who black, have black owned businesses, whatever, but they don't put that money back in the community. So I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm supporting him, but he ain't supporting my people. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 I don't know. It's all it's all crazy to me. It's the truth, man. You know it's I mean? the truth, I, man. Yeah. And, 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 and man, at the end of the day, 
It is what it is, dog. Like, I just, I just don't know is. what the fuck motherfuckers want me to tell them at the end of the day. I'm just at the point where I'm like, man, you know what I'm saying? Y'all live y'all life the way y'all feel. I'm going to live mine the way I feel. The way that I feel yeah, is yeah. I don't want my daughter believing that putting some shit on her head makes her look better than the shit she was born with on her head. If you feel that's that nice. that's an option for you, fine. I'm not knocking you. I just don't feel that that's an option for me. I don't believe in eating meat. If you feel that eating meat is good for you, nigga, go, nigga. When we go to the restaurant together, you order your burger. I'm gonna order my veggie burger. I'm not gonna judge you. I don't, I, I don't smoke cigarettes. If you smoke a cigarette, cool, nigga. You just gotta step outside. I'm not with that. I don't want to breathe. Yeah, so it gets to the point where it's like, I have learned to coexist with things I don't agree with without allowing the things I don't agree with to come into my world. So that's what people need to learn how to do. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't think that. Um, I don't think that women should carry themselves in a degrading way, and I don't mean sexually. Like I'm like, if you want to look sexy on the internet, go ahead. But it's a difference yeah. between sexy and you and trashy. Important. Yeah, and trashy. Like trashy is not sex. Like like y'all not even invoking a man's mind anymore. Y'all just straight winning off of a nigga's lust factor. Yeah. Like y'all yeah. not even y'all not even creative with y'all sexy like y'all just straight yeah. like basically this shit is like two levels from a porno. Yeah, yeah, shit, I can't even watch porn no more because it feel like you know what I mean Instagram and porn I can't really tell the difference. You know I'm a truck driver so I watch porn all the time so yeah, like, you know what I mean. The fucking internet, seen the video on the internet where female I don't know what it was so don't have me get the lion y'all but I'm finna do a high perspective one and there was some niggas sitting in the chairs and they had the girls sucking the cucumbers. Yeah, I seen that shit. I'm like, what the fuck shit. is this? Yeah, I seen that I'm shit. I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, I would if I, I would have been there and did that, I would have left. Like, yo, I can't believe yeah. I'm a I'm around a bunch of fucking retards like yeah. that. So that's just what I'm like. Females like that, I, I like you can't have my number. Get the fuck out my DMs. They consider like, that a good time. Get the fuck out my face. Like, I will violate your shit. Like, I don't have no respect for you. Like, no. I can't talk to you. Like, get your ass out my. I don't want to hit that. That's nasty. I don't know. So it's just like I'm turned by a lot of shit that turn motherfuckers on. I'm turned off. Like, it, it, that don't mean I don't like females. We all like girls. We all like twerking. We, but all of that trashy, yeah, slutty, yeah. disgusting Jerry Springer shit. I'm not with none so of that you, shit. Do you consider? So, you know I, mean? I, ain't, I ain't trying to hold you up. But do you consider twerking no, go ahead, bro. trashy? I ain't trying to hold you up. But Hell no. you consider? Because I, I, I love me a twerk video, cuz. I, I, <laughs> I, I don't consider twerking, twerking, twerking. Uh. Trashy. It was. I, I've actually defended twerking before. What I do yeah. consider trashy is how and why it's done. If a female, if a female want to be sexual and express her sexuality, I will be the first nigga to defend that. But like, for example, let me give you a question. I mean, let me give you an example. I seen a video of a female twerking, and then she poured milk and cereal on herself. You seen that video? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's stupid. It was a little Latino female. I'm not with that. Like that type of yeah, shit. Yeah, that's stupid. Like, what the fuck is you that was a waste of milk. Retard? Yeah, that was a waste of milk. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> what the fuck? Like, why would you like? Like, that's what I'm talking about. Like, all that extra shit. Like, listen, if you, if you, if you bust a little twerk, do you? But all of that, extra, all of that, all of it. Like, it's just like people. Listen, if I if I went up to a female and I poured milk and cereal on her. Then, then, then the feminist movement will be all over me for degradation. All over you. But it's yeah. like women, women get on this internet every day and the 